How about now? How about now? Seems good. How about now? Alright, let's continue, shall we? Uh, so where were we? We've got a block here dedicated to bio sludge. Uh, because the amount we're producing here doesn't seem to be enough to supply the rest of the uh, train block. Oh, the rail network, that is. Although, I could be wrong about that. It could have just been catching up. We'll see. Uh, we added a few more machines here. Uh... Yeah, that's just stopped because the vats have run out. Um, very difficult to keep up with the stack size of five items with uh, high throughput. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be more than enough, I think, for experimental biocultures. Um, I don't know how many blocks we've even got at the moment that do consume them, but this one at least, it's more than double what's necessary. And let's see. Uh, we've got a build over here that I forgot to label. Biochemical resistance data. That was the last thing we finished. Biochemical resistance data. And I think we just left room here to double it if necessary. So we'll leave that as it is for now. Probably the same thing with the experimental biomass here. I feel like I should move that icon. Just so we know what's what. Um, this is technically correct, although this is actually being built down here. And we might end up doubling the whole thing. Fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, seems we forgot to lay out some scaffolding blueprints. Let's do that now. And. I'm slightly at a loss as to... We've actually already done um, the consumers of all of these types of data. Uh, unless there's a little mistake in here somewhere, everything's actually... Wow. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought we'd completely saturated these uh, chests full of bio... Uh, biological catalogs, but that's not quite right. Biological catalog. Biological catalog. There we go. Looks like the inserters won't have trouble keeping up with the beaconed machines. Not even close. Fantastic. Um, we didn't make the same mistake over here. Yes, we did. Check the names of the stations. That hasn't been updated either. Not that it matters technically. That's the wrong thing to click. And there we go. That should be that block all fixed. Um, so that's the only reason, I think, that we haven't got biological catalogs delivered here by now. Um, as for broad biological catalogs, we've already got plenty of experimental genetic data. I'm not seeing anything of the other three yet, though. How's bio sludge looking? It is looking pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, we do have a trainload of bio sludge available for pickup over here right now. And was it here? Nope. 
Where was it that we had a drop off for bio sludge? Here we go. Uh, there's plenty available for making um, experimental biocultures. Um, so I think we might have caught up with how much bio sludge we need to support everything so far. But yeah, we'll keep this one reserved. Um, we might even just build it ahead of time. Why not? Should be way more than enough for a considerable amount of time into the future. Um, we'll do a block dedicated to producing bio sludge. Partly also because I don't really... Uh, my brain's been sort of reset and I don't have anything off the top of my head that I think we need to work on right now. We're actually just... We're actually sort of waiting for resources to catch up because we've got way more throughput capacity um, with the builds that we've made here than we've got resources coming in overall. Uh, and we do have quite a bit of storage as well. So, um, it needs biocultures. We're not actually exporting those. Uh, this is the part that might be a bit tricky, actually. I probably should have broken this up into multiple blocks in the first place. I could just copy-paste this, if I'm being really lazy. Um... We've already got an obscene amount of genetic data that we can produce relative to how much we need and the inputs. We're actually struggling on chemical gel to catch up with all of these things anyway. That's not too surprising. Uh, chemical gel is relatively slow and expensive. And there's a lot... There's not that much storage in the whole rail network for chemical gel and quite kind of high demand on it. Uh, what are you picking up? Oh. Oh, we did export nutrient paths. Good. Fantastic. Um, so nutrient vat, vita melange, uh, genetic ec data, and bio sludge. Uh, once again, if we want to produce bio sludge, we have to bring in bio sludge. Um... And then we also need nutrient gel, which we are exporting. So bioculture is the only thing that we're not directly exporting here. Maybe we should be? This belt is often backed up. Um, we're only consuming 20.2 per second here. And this, uh, this is straight up bottlenecked on the belt. It would be a little bit difficult to find somewhere to output those into the train network here. We could do it down here, but this block is already so cramped. Um, I think I would rather just have a couple of these. So one, two, three physical inputs and one fluid. Uh, two fluids. That's relatively easy. It's going to be nutrient vats that we consume fastest. 32 per second. Uh, that would be... Oh wow, that's even with efficiencies in this thing. Oh, this is all speed. 
I see. Um, but yeah, mostly vats, which have a really low stack size. Bit of melange spice. Alright, let's tentatively uh, throw together some kind of design for this. And we need... I'll just confirm again. Uh, one, two, three physical inputs. And the only physical input for this one will be made locally. How, ma how many things are bioculture uh, put into? Biomass? Fish growth? Wood growth? Okay. I don't particularly think we need to export that into the rail network. If we really wanted to, we could maybe find room for fish and wood somewhere else. Use Mike. Good evening. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, I think we'll do a uh a single drop-off for genetic data. And... Wait, no, it's nutrient vats, isn't it? That's going to be fastest. Um, genetic data is close. Um, anyway, let's get our usual beacon that gives us the negative 70 power consumption percentage um, if our machines have four speed modules and we'll put a few of these here get a feel for what kind of rate we're looking at Let's say there's... oh, that's efficiency modules. We're not going to be using those. Probably, maybe, we'll see. So we could do ten of these from one beacon quite comfortably if we want to. That would give us... Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That would give us 1.3k bio sludge consumed, 244 uh, genetic data. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily think we need to go that fast. Don't even know what we're going to do with four belts of bioculture. Um, so let's maybe go with like four of these. That is still more than two belts of bioculture. And more than... Well, it's not exactly more than two belts of input for genetic data. We need to do the... Um, some kind of prioritization trick where we prioritize consuming... Uh, the genetic data that it's outputting. Uh, let's see. Stack filter inserter. This will be data. Yeah, we don't want the genetic data to go anywhere else. Um, how long is one recipe? Well, net consumption is 2.72 per second. That's actually really slow. Okay. So we can do a half belt for that. 
And we can do a half belt for nothing else. And that's with only two machines. Fantastic. 54 bioculture. I think we're going to use more efficiency modules here. Um, let's go with... Minimum power consumption. That's still more than a belt of bioculture. And more than half a belt of vitamelange spice. I do strongly prefer the belts to be saturated. Um, let's not forget, though, that we only need the genetics facilities to support the growth facilities. Um, so let's maybe change that back to our usual. And we'll have just a couple of these, perhaps. Um, just deciding where to put them. This goes here. That's not going to line up the way I want it to. Unless. How long does this recipe take? I can't see it happening right now. Um, five seconds base time. Crafting speed, we're looking at 13.6, wow. Um, so, a bit over a third of a second. I don't think I could use a long arm. I want to keep this symmetrical if I can. Or like lined up with the beacon like so but if we have just two of these swapping resources like that i don't know if it's going to be doable um i'll just have to put them closer together so i was thinking we could maybe do it like this And then uh, we have a belt coming in here for genetic data. We I think we can probably set this to like a fast inserter with a stack size of one. And we're gonna say if everything equals zero in this chest, if there's no genetic data in this chest, we can pick it up from the belt and same thing over here. Easy enough. Um, and then we need... We'll probably put in some more efficiencies here, but... 27 bioculture... More than half a belt of bioculture per second. And... Oh, that's the other way around. Nutrient vats. Let's just say one belt nutrient vat, half a belt of vitamelange spice. Each. So two belts of each. I don't know if I have a design for this, but I wonder if we can do... Two belts of each with a shared drop-off over here. So, oh, we definitely can. I know just what to do. Wait, we do need the chests. 
Uh, we're going to do space splitters like this. And we're going to say uh, vats. It is vats, isn't it? Yep, nutrient vats go here. Mix this like so. Read hand contents hold. Uh, if it was generic with just one type of resource, this would be everything equals zero. Read belt contents hold. And then uh, this is spice. Um, so these two are going to be set to spice equals zero. These two are going to be set to vat equals zero. Copy paste across here. Um, it doesn't have the storage capacity of certain other designs. But it does have, uh, I think it's two belts of throughput for each, um, it's at least two belts of throughput for each resource here. Just have to figure out how to lay this part out now. So I think these two, I might use the vat so we can see which belt is which easily for this. Um, so that right there is two belts and then Well, no, I don't, I don't know if it actually outputs that much. I can't remember how much it was when I tested this. Anyway, we need to merge these four into two. Uh, we also need to drop off biomass somewhere. I almost forgot about that. We can also always put another station down here, maybe. How do I usually do this? Let's just cheat by looking at our usual 90 per second. We've got these two coming together and outputting to one belt. And then these ones, um, that's just enough, it looks like. I think that goes there. That goes there. So that's going to be that's for these two. And that's going to be that's for these two. Fantastic. And it should be relatively trivial to do the same thing for another resource. We can't put it there. This is spice. Oh. Uh. 
Not that I think we need two belts of spice, though. 27.2. We definitely don't. So we'll do a bit of a custom job this time. Um, we'll just merge all of this into one belt. And I think this goes here. This is confusing for now. That goes there. Fantastic. Alright, we need to connect all of these together. We also need to tell LTN what's in these stations. In the chests, rather. That doesn't look right. Where's the train? This is one tile off. Wait, no, there's something missing. This one's only five. Didn't I copy-paste this from somewhere? Does that mean we're missing... I must have just... missed it by one tile when I copied this earlier. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there, put this probably up as high as we can, maybe a little bit lower so pipes could connect, perhaps. Um, it's actually as high as it goes with the beacon there. Uh, we're missing some modules. There we go. 27.2... 54 total here. A little bit more than half a belt for each of these. So what tiers of the different space sciences are you on at the moment? Uh, scale the summit. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got... Uh, theoret theoretically, we've finished um, Bioscience 2. Although, we do have a little bit of a lack. Oh, we don't have bioscrubbers yet. I don't even know how to make them. Um, I also forgot, I just remembered now, we need to do uh, vitalic acid. We're going to do that on the ground because we can use productivity modules. So we need to grab our construction spiders... Wherever they are, here they are. This is where we're going to build that block, actually. I'll put a reminder here, which I should have done yesterday. Metallic acid. We'll need a couple of train stops. This goes here, and this goes here. Second question, how many hours into this playthrough are you? Yes. Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay, <laughs> look, it's only th three weeks and half a day, it's fine. We'll, we'll be there in no time. We've, we've just had a couple of slight delays and setbacks. Okay. Um, so what do we need? Two physical, one fluid. I think we know how we're going to do that. Pump. Tank. Pipe. And 
I need to put down some bacons. I should probably make a blueprint of this. I'm just going to get the layout for the wide area beacons and the pylon substations for the standard layout. I'll also include the flat solar panels. Um, beacon. Pylon. Pylon substation. And I'm just going to put that in our rail blocks. So then we don't have to measure this again. I know all about setbacks, damn medias and biters constantly ruining things. Yeah, uh, we've also got our artillery occasionally smashing our own stuff, um, unfortunately. The... Uh, Weapons delivery cannon apparently misfires sometimes. Use with caution. Indeed. Uh, we've only had, like, I think, five to ten. One, two, three, four, five. At least six. I remember it smashed something somewhere important. Maybe seven. I think we've had up to ten times that it's actually hit something. Uh, that belongs to us. That we know of, because a lot of these walls are self-healing. Um, but on the other hand, it's helped us beat the biters back to one quarter of the entire planet. Um, once we finally get them off Nalvis, we're going to be able to dismantle a lot of stuff and the lack of biters in the, in and of themselves uh, is going to mean a little bump up in UPS, I think. I mean, for a death world save we had uh, with the rampant mod, which adds many, many biters, uh, I accidentally loaded it without the mod loaded once, and there was about... 90 to 95 percent of the biters missing. Uh, suffice to say, UPS went from about, I don't know, 25 to 55 um, on that save on that computer at the time. So having biters milling about is not trivial for the UPS cost, especially when you've got the pollution clouds uh, aggravating them. And they're pathing to attack you all the time. Um, we'll do a couple more. And then send, send the spiders back for resupply. I kind of do want to beef up their shields. We technically have the technology already, but it's going to be a little bit of a nuisance. Um... To upgrade them. Especially since I'm in orbit at the moment. There's also some stuff... Uh, something or other from bioscience or... No, it's force field data. I think force field data and electromagnetic field data. We need to send back to now as if we want to make shields there. Um... That's not that hard, I suppose. Anyway. Oh, let's not forget the build we need to do on Nalvis first. Okay, so I'm thinking... That's our usual for the beacons. Fantastic. Uh, we can't... I kind of wish when you got to the level where you're using space manufactories, you could get some giant super fast machines on the ground, uh, on the planet as well, because um, obviously having like 10 machines instead of 300 is probably better for UPS as well. But first, why do our spiders not put the 
beacons in. Uh, the uh, efficiency modules. Are they not requesting efficiency modules? Let's see. They are not. Okay. Copy that here. Change the color back. Copy it to all this, these other spiders. Send them back to the mall. Just for a moment should be enough. And bring them back here. Um, so we need to make vitalic acid, glass vitamelange extract, and sulfuric acid. Um, can't really see how fast this is going to go to start with. It doesn't have the productivities in yet, but we're looking at only 2.25 and 4.5 per second means 10 of these would need an entire belt of extract. Um, but it is going to be a bit slower than that. I don't think we'll be filling an entire block with these, though. Um, that's the power of beacons. Also, I kind of forgot we should probably be power managing our beacons um, on the planet, because they are 10 megawatts. 10 megawatts on the ground is a lot more than 10 megawatts in space, suffice to say. I still haven't placed these beacons and put a power switch on them yet, either. So, should probably get around to that. The trouble is, um... I guess we could maybe... If I push these in the into the middle a bit more... With the pylon substations that I eventually want to put everywhere and get rid of the big power poles and substations, um, the one downside is it makes it a lot harder to use power switches. Um, to make these beacons inaccessible, to the to the substations on the outside, I need to move them in a bit more. They're already north and south enough to not touch those ones. So I just need to move them a few tiles in. And then maybe we could remove the wires from this, use a regular pylon somewhere, and use a power switch. Like, put this here, remove the connections, put a power switch in between these two, connect it to this one. That might work. Also, given the rate stuff that I've seen so far, I wouldn't be surprised if we only need, like, one beacon for this entire block. Alright, pylon goes here, I suppose. Power switch goes here. And we're going to remove the wires from both of those. And let's let's just assume we're just gonna have one beacon in the middle. See how that goes. Wire. Oh, we need a accumulator here as well. 
just so that we can tell how much uh, power is in the network. And then a couple of well, three to be precise, decider combinators. We're going to read A for accumulator charge from the uh, into the decider combinators. If A something output green, if A something output red, greater than 99% screen, less than let's say 90%, or make it even greedier, 95% is red. I don't think the spiders have power switches. Okay. This one is getting close to running out of room. Normally I'm the only one that carries power switches because we don't need them very often. But I'm in orbit at the moment. Let's get the leader to go and pick some up. Um, so... Green signal when we're full, red signal when it drops below 95%. And then this thing is going to be connected to its own input. Green signal. If green signal is greater than red signal, output green signal. So in the absence of a red signal, if it was given a green signal, uh, which is now not being sent to it, and it hasn't received a red signal yet. There's going to be one green just going round and round in circles here. And then the power switch itself is just going to be a uh, green signal greater than zero. Uh, and then we just need some of these assembly machines. Where would be a good... what would be a good layout for them? One, two, three. It's two physical in, one physical out. Oh, there goes a rocket. Fantastic. What was that? Rough data storage substrates. Beautiful. That's our main bottleneck these days for, like, data cards, I think, unless we've shifted that bottleneck. That's going to connect here, and then this is going to connect here, but we can't do it while it's a ghost. Spiders are on their way back very slowly. Um... I think that's enough that we definitely know what we're doing when we look there again. Uh, this requires bio sludge, so we'll probably drop that off here. Data of the genetic variety. Bio sludge. We need fluids. Quest threshold 100,000. I'm going to make that the default, actually, for this blueprint. I was thinking about it earlier, and it's a lot less work to right click this if we don't want fluids here than to have to type that in. So, uh, standard drop off, select new contents, exclude the tiles, train stop names, entities, yes, fantastic. Um, standard pickup. Fluid threshold, 100k. Select new contents, no tiles, green stop names, fantastic. 
uh, I don't think the pickup stations need to have the constant combinator off by default because nothing bad's going to happen. There has to be stuff there for the train to pick up. That's not going to happen by mistake. Uh, so I might just update that again. And last but not least is active pickup, which is basically the same thing, but really high priority. I'll just swap those around so that they're consistent. And that is switched on. Fantastic. Okay. Oh. So here we're going to have genetic. Just one train load should be plenty. The net consumption of genetic data is only 5.4 per second at max speed here. Um, and then, and then what? Fluid, bio sludge. Bio sludge. Nice. And if bio sludge is going to come in from there, actually, I kind of want to put this here. And we can have the bio sludge come in this way. I think. That's nice and symmetrical and pretty neat and compact. Um, I was going to say we could put it one tile further up. Actually, we can do that if we use the underground belt. It's actually really convenient. Actually, does that reach? It's one tile short. Tragic. Okay. And we just need to belt over this stuff. I'm thinking this one could actually uh, go through here. One more tile. That's perfect. Actually, that's sort of one too many. It's fine. How much does it need? Like 27 per second. 27.2. I think that's more than one stack inserter. Yeah, it's 1.9 according to rate calculator. And that is probably assuming it's picking up from a chest directly. So we'll put three. should be way more than enough um, biocultures here for what we're going to make anyway. Oh, that's not going to fit so well. Well, let's just do it like this. And Vitamelange Spice. Uh, how many inserters? Allegedly only one. Probably two. Put 
that there. And just for symmetry, actually, let's put this here. Okay. So that'll be... We also have to output the junk data cards. And how fast do we make the biocultures? 27.2 per second. Uh, that seems like a lot. How many inserters is that? It's two. Probably three. Just like I said with uh, uh, nutrient baths. We need those to be filter inserters, actually. Where does this go? Oh, there it is. So each of these is slightly more than half a belt. I think we'll do it like this. And then for bio... Biomass itself. No, the point wasn't biomass. The point was... Bio's... Bio's sludge from biomass. Except this is the only place we're making biomass directly, so if we just spammed these things, um, as much as the... We're doing a surplus of 9 biomass per second if this is going full speed at the moment. So I think it makes sense wherever we make biomass to make bio sludge as well. That does of course make this block a little bit more complicated. Um, we're also going to need to do the thing where we set encoded network IDs here. Um, so that we're not picking up from the bio sludge output and dropping off at the bio sludge input in the same block. So we're gonna uh, gonna do encoded network ID. I think it was two. Yep. And the output will be encoded network ID one. Uh, that's the wrong one. This one. Fantastic. So we still need um, cosmic water delivered, and we're making the biomass out of nutrient gel and bioculture. Are we making nutrient gel here fast enough for a massive surplus? Uh, yeah, pretty much. If everything goes full speed, we're still making 342 per second. So we'll drop off nutrient gel here, probably. Nutrient gel plus bioculture makes biomass. We're going to need three fluid outputs. Uh, one, two of them for the waste products. That can go here, I guess. That's not helpful. There we go. And that goes there. Spiders are taking their sweet time. We'll do a priority 
output here. This will be contaminated. Where is it? Contaminated cosmic water and contaminated bio sludge. We also need to make sure that these pumps only activate based on which resource the train is asking for. So whichever's, whichever one's going to be which, we'll see, but for example, we'll say contaminated cosmic water greater than zero. Actually, I think I've seen it negative before. I think there was a reason we made this not equal to zero instead of greater than zero uh, in a different build. And this will be the same, but contaminated by sludge. We're going to need. Oh, that's right. I didn't like the pipes on this very much, but I think over here somewhere. I like this build much better. Fantastic. Uh, and it looks like the inputs and outputs are almost identical as well. So this will be a good layout for what we need. And we can probably do a couple of things. I can put this directly over here based on where this beacon already is. Let's suppose we... Oh, that's really close. I should probably move that up a bit. Whoops. No, don't. Don't undo that. No. Okay. Move. It's actually pretty close already. We'll see. Just give it a one tile there and see what we can do with it. Royal PS2K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Hacks, I chat. Hello to you too. Sephanated lurking in the back. Good luck with the stream. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Um. So how far is this from here? Probably gonna line up exactly the same, right? It's one tile off for some reason. Shouldn't these be at the same height? They are. But I should have flipped instead of rotated. Okay. So that is the one true layout. Um, we're doing biomass. And I almost forgot the part where we need to do bio sludge itself. Uh, that is going to need some biochemical facilities. I don't think we're going to need too many of them. And we can hopefully... F uh, I don't think we can fit them in the middle here. Maybe if I move these two... to the side a little bit. Um, but just for the sake of argument, let's figure out how many machines would... what the ratio would be. Spiders are really taking their sweet time with bots. There we go. Uh, so, what's our ratio looking like for 
um, genetic facilities to all of these things. Uh, biocultures. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, net positive of 52.7 per second. That's not at all what I was... Oh, it's the wrong recipe, that's why. I was gonna say, that's not at all what I was expecting. Stable 35 UPS? Yeah, it's great. Um... So we're looking at a net rate of 13 bioculture per second still after all this. Maybe I will export them to a short train just to just to have them available in case we want to make trees or fish. We have to deal with junk data card and contaminated scrap. Um, we can probably... What are all of our outputs? from this whole block. We could do a separate uh, pickup station for bio-sludge. We're not outputting genetic data. Two physical. Three if we include this. Oh, uh, we want biomass as well. Babu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And, of course, contaminated um, bio-sludge and cosmic water. I think we'll actually... We'll do the fluids on each station and one physical at each station. That way we don't need any fancy... Um, fancy circuits that can sometimes go wrong if we make a mistake or something. Um, I should have a blueprint for how this fits together so that we can have the chests reach with the wires if there's just one per station, uh, per cargo wagon. It's too far. Fantastic. I don't think that's in the middle. Two. One, two. That looks about right. And this goes here. So our junk is going to be 3.4 per second, and why are we not getting junk data cards? There we go, 5.44 per second. That's quite easy to deal with. I kind of want to put, actually, an output for the junk data cards up here, so they don't have to cross the entire rail block. Um, and I'm not going to worry about having the signals prevent the trains from overlapping or something, because it's going to be so rare that we need to pick up the junk data cards here. They're not going to be in each other's way for very long. Okay. Uh, where does our station fit? Right about here. So we'll do junk data card pickup right about there. Once again, uh, long-handed filter inserters would be lovely, but we'll make do. Junk 
start a code. And we'll bring this over here. Need a splitter. And we'll limit the chests to exactly one cargo wagon each. That's all we need to make sure the load is balanced. And especially considering how slow that's annoying. Let me push this out one more tile. Yep, same thing on this side, the symmetry. Uh, provide stack threshold 160, and first, oh, that should still be priority 100. Junk data card. Okay. Now then, uh, we need bioculture and nutrient gel. Nutrient gel, we've already got pipes, that's going to be easy. Bioculture needs uh, only 20.4 per second for each of these. And kind of need a splitter here, maybe. I kind of need to move this one tile down, but we're already so close to running out of space down here. Alright, we need to move it anyway. Let's move this, like, one tile down and a couple to the side. Same thing on this side. Should be enough room now to have the biochemical facilities in the middle, I hope. And we can get them to leech off of the wide area beacons that we already have. Um, fluid IO might be a bit of a nuisance. It only, oh, it does output a physical as well. Physical in, fluid in, and one of each out. Oh, we can't move that one tile over. Not unless we're going to have the inputs from the middle, but then where are the outputs going to be? Okay. Um, so we're going to have a splitter here. Goes there. That goes there. And so on. That should be all it takes. Biomass. Let's see where the beacons go. This fits. This is how far towards the middle we have to put this to not receive a beacon. Um, we can maybe do like this. We're not going to be able to do this symmetrically. Maybe I should actually bring these closer to the middle. We could just have one... There's no actual middle here. That's kind of tragic. Um, let me rotate this so that we do them in pairs. Yep. 
maybe put this here. We can't. Don't have room to do it this way. Maybe we should just have fewer uh, growth uh, growth facilities here. I would prefer not to. What's our ratio? Biomass. We need like two two more of these to consume almost all the biomass that we're making in this block. So like that. Oh wait, how much does one of these use? 3.4 per second. So... Two more of these would actually be... I can't fit two more unless I move the substation pylon. I don't like having to do that, but maybe it's the lesser evil here. If we're doing that, we can have these line up with the growth facilities. Okay, what's our ratio? Uh, let me read this as well. Wait, are we missing growth facilities here? We are. Okay, uh, let's make sure we actually build them all. We need, like... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, in order to get rate calculator to calculate this properly. Um, so, we're going to have 24 of these. That's going to consume 40.8 bioculture per second, which is... A little bit less than we we can make with these two machines. Um, we can make forty point eight biomass per second, and this will consume only half of that. A Kalissa squid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um. So maybe this is like overkill, honestly. Uh, is this like just a one-to-one -one ratio? Is that what this is? No, this net consumed, uh, this net consumes biomass, but this right here is a perfect ratio. Maybe, maybe we should just do half the block for growth facilities and half the block for biomass. No, there's lots of things that consume biomass as well. I think I like this, except for the fact that this uh, hole is not where it would normally go. Alright, let's go for a 7. We can't really do that. 5. And the water... Um, I think we could do the water drop off here, honestly. Quest threshold. 100,000. And is this from my rope report? Yeah, it is. This is going to be a really rare physical pickup from the junk data cards, and water takes like a second uh, to drop off. So this is going to be really low throughput. 
uh, low traffic, that is. How fast is this going to consume cosmic water? 204 per second. That's not that bad. Uh, let's put some stack inserters and connect this here. Okay. Cosmic water. 120k. Is this switched on? Yeah, it is. And we just need to figure out where to squeeze this belt through as well. I'm pretty sure we can do it though. Pretty sure. Like, at least 70% sure. Might have to use some undergrounds here. Five, six, seven. That's too long. Yeah, that was easier than I thought it would be. Hey, El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we do have water on the way. Fantastic. And what else? We need our spiders back. Hopefully they are carrying uh, the rest of these growth facilities by now. I am Sark. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't think... Oh, this is Biosludge. Yeah, we need Biosludge here. I don't think this train stop is going to change either. So let's turn that on. We do need to connect Biosludge elsewhere. I wonder where the best place to do that would be. That's too long. Fantastic. Maybe I should have a pump coming from the... Uh, actually, no. Actually... I'm not entirely sure. We do need it to be part of the loop. Um... Yeah, we should probably make it a low priority drop off for the bio sludge. Well, all of our bio sludge production areas have are going to have encoded network ID one for the bio sludge pickup. I don't think it's going to matter if it just shares the same. Uh, storage, actually. Alright, let's double check everything with rate calc. Um, we need to export these two fluids. Contaminated scrap junk data card. Biomass. We've already done junk data card here. We're doing those two fluid outputs down the bottom. Or maybe... Maybe on the sides. Um, I was trying to decide where to put... Okay, so this isn't going to be junk data cards. Because we've already done that up here. We could probably make this one biomass. 
as we often do for the desired final product down the left here. This is going to be biomass. Biomass. Stack inserters. Biomass. Provider. And maybe I will make that bio sludge pick up as well. And we can do the contaminated cosmic water or bio sludge pick up over here. So what was the other waste product? Junk data cards are up here. Contaminated scrap. This is the natural place to put this because it's going to output from these. So I can't quite... Oh, that's not laid out the way I thought it was. Let's move the spiders a little bit so we can see what's going on up here. That should line up with that. That should line up with that. Fantastic. Um, does this use more than half a belt? Surprisingly close to half a belt, but not quite enough. Wait, did I just rotate myself? I did. What the um, apparently with Navsat, you can point at your character and rotate it just like a piece of belt or something. Fantastic. Just what I needed. Alright, so we're going to do this thing again where we limit the chests to exactly one cargo wagon. Um... Since the input rate is slow enough, that's all we need. Instead of a balancer circuit. This doesn't look right. Oh, it is. Yeah, I guess that's fine, actually. Okay, so this one is going to be... Uh, whatever lines up better, one of those two fluids. And scrap of the contaminated variety. One media destroyed, fantastic. And we need to connect these fluid outputs. Not to mention fluid inputs, those two are connected already. Uh, I think this one is going to be uh, what is it called again? Nutrient gel. Let's say that it is. We could connect it over here. What's the rate of nutrient gel for the whole block? Nutrient gel 408. I think we can not worry about the shape of the pipes in that case. Uh, I want to connect this over here. Oh, that's actually fine. 
Just have to move the belt a little bit. Or we could have... Oh, that's... Those shouldn't be connected, actually. Okay. Back down here you go. Uh, but where am I going to connect these? That's a nine. So it doesn't connect anywhere. Uh, I think here makes the most sense, actually. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, all I can think of is four fives. And then this is nineteen. Oh, those are already connected. Actually, we need this to not connect to this thing, though. Let's just do 15 and a 5. Looks like the contaminated bio sludge and cosmic gel are touching pipes on the top machine. Contaminated bio sludge and cosmic gel. Uh, is it because of this one? That's actually a 9 light, so it doesn't connect on the sides. The ones down here are uh, fives, which will connect here, but the nines don't connect like this. No worries. I mean, it looks a lot like it would connect, doesn't it? Especially with the way these curvy bits stick out of the uh, growth facilities. It looks exactly like it connects, actually. The only reason it doesn't is arbitrarily the 9s and 15s don't connect on the sides. Uh, so... So that should be nutrient gel all connected. Uh, bio sludge output I think I would like to do here if I can. It's too long. I think a niner. Nope. A nine is slightly too short. Um. I might want to pump all of the bio sludge here, but it's sort of going to. It's sort of going to make this whole myth this whole thing not necessarily loop. How much bio sludge do we need? 50 to make this work. How could we prioritize that this goes here and then as much as that's satisfied this can go through here. I think we'll put um We'll put a storage tank on the corner here. And we'll allow this to exit as long as there's some amount of bio sludge left in this one. Bio sludge greater than 5,000. Should be enough. Uh, this pickup needs to be ID 1, encoded network ID 1, this one is encoded network ID 2, same thing with these two. So we're not going to get bio sludge at the point of production picked up and taken to the same block. This is only going to be bio sludge from like treatment facilities. Also, 
Oh, that's empty. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so far, so good. We've done bio sludge input and output. We haven't done contaminated outputs yet. Uh, we haven't done biomass just yet. That one's going to be pretty straightforward, though. How much does one machine consume? 3.4 per second. We can probably just get away with long-handed inserters here. Um, or maybe we could put a belt on that side would be better. Oh. We don't have a whole lot of space to do what we want with our belts down the bottom. Let's see, 20 per second. Um... We can definitely merge that here. And then... There's one bit of belt, uh, one tile here that we can maybe use. I think we'll make a long, uh, we'll make an underground pipe here. And then this will be... I was going to say 15 piles. Could be, perhaps. And I want the... Might have to make that a bit shorter. Probably just move these down a tile, actually. Now then. We want these two to come together. And then priority split up this way. Turned out to be easier than expected. Let's see where the undergrounds line up. That's pretty good. Priority output right hand side. That is for biomass. And I think the only challenge remaining in this block is... Here comes our biomass. Um, is to get the waste fluids where they need to go. So first of all, we need to connect this side and this side. Second of all, uh, we could do fluid outputs here and here, or here, 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 whatever. We're going to need at least one more train stop. If we put one there, it's going to be a bit more symmetrical. Do any of these happen to line up really well? That one is contaminated bio sludge. Oh, that's... No, this is contaminated cosmic water, actually. But... Not quite. If we use some undergrounds here... And this can go here, that goes there, and that goes there. Easy enough. 
can we get the contaminated cosmic water pipe on this end to connect to this one? I think so. Oh, that's so close. Two tiles, actually. Hmm. Can we shape this part a bit differently? Uh, Citadel Repartee. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's the damn porthole. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Um, how far can we move this? Oh. This might be easier than expected. Even if it is, I'm still a bit worried for... Yeah, there we go. Put this one here. I'm still a bit worried for how we're going to connect um, contaminated bio sludge on each end. Whoops, not like that. We can't actually use a 3B here. That's some good pipe spaghetti. So how do we connect contaminated bio sludge on each end? We already got biomass, uh, bio sludge pumped in here, so we're kind of committed a little bit to making this output bio sludge. Um, I don't think. Oh, maybe. I think that's our answer. That's some good spaghetti. Alright, uh, bio... Goes up here. All the way over here. That would almost be perfect. Let's do a 9. And... 7, perhaps. Fantastic. I believe that is it. Oh, what's this? That doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and it should be a pretty simple operation uh, to put a output station right about here. We won't be requesting uh, cosmic water at this one. Right. Priority. Uh, sorry, provide threshold. 100k. This will be... I mean, wait, which one is it? Contaminated cosmic water is down here, right? Yep. So, contaminated bio sludge. Alright, let's copy this part. And figure out... Here is probably good. Here is very good, actually. And then we can connect that like so. Spiders... Get in range. And I think that's our block. Let's double check we've done all of the outputs. 
contaminated cosmic scrap, scrap, contaminated cosmic, contaminated scrap goes here, contaminated cosmic water goes here, contaminated bio sludge goes here, um, uh, bio sludge goes here, biomass goes here. I haven't done an output for biocultures. Should we do that? It's primarily to make biomass, but I wouldn't mind having a pickup for biocultures. And it'll just be a sort of a low priority uh, excess output kind of thing. So I'll just put some chests like so. And it does make sense to have plenty of storage for them because the stack size is only five. But I think instead of using any circuitry here, um, we'll just limit the chests. Seven on each chest is going to go to be a bit more than one train load. Actually, that's not good. We need exactly one train load. We can't do that with six chests unless we, uh, we can do five eights, six sevens of 42. We could drop this one by a couple. So it's actually five sevens plus five. And that will effectively use uh, chest limiting as our balancer. The only downside of that is if you want trains picking up here again and again, high throughput, um, it's going to slow things down a bit. Okay. Whoa, that is a name. Tobias G. Mo D. K. C. C. P. Bass Dominator. Fantastic. Uh, let's call it not nutrient fat. Uh, bioculture provider. I forgot to put this here first, actually. Bioculture. Fantastic. I'm not even worried about getting the excess off of that belt. The only things... Oh, we're getting close to artillery shell range, which means all of the resources we're pouring into that are going to stop being used for a while as well once the... once some of the chests get filled up. Um, we still need to make bio scrubbers and we still still need to make uh, what are they called again? Vitalic acid. And this spider is a bit confused. Or this bot anyway. Uh, we've got our power switch finally. Let's connect this to here. And this to here. And we're also going to say green greater than zero. Fantastic. All right, so how fast would uh, the maximum on each side, if we just do a couple of columns, go? 
And this is with negative 70% power consumption. Yep. That's actually pretty good. 30 glass. Oh, 60. Vitamolange extract. That's a bit of a challenge, actually. Um, 30 glass per second. Two belts of Vitamolange extract. And almost one belt of output. Um, how am I going to do that with the piping? I wonder if... I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there's a very good way to do this. How much does each machine require? Oh, it's... It's unpowered again. Uh, okay, let's just... Uh, let's just say we're going to allow this to be powered for now. While we're designing it. Each individual machine uses 2.5 extract per second. Um, I don't know if a long arm inserter is going to appreciate that. We could maybe do... Not space pipes. We could maybe do underground pipes so that there's plenty of room for the inserters here. Let me just put some inserters down so we can compare them with rate calculator. Inserters. Uh, we need two to keep up with Vitamolange extract. No, wait, that says 0 0.694. Uh, that's actually pretty surprising. Um, so supposedly... Whoops. Supposedly a long arm could keep up with any one of these resources. Bear that in mind. But I think I would prefer to do the usual double belt input. Fast inserters should be more than good enough here. Um, let's put this here. Wait, what is this going to look like? That's not quite right. Um, that goes there. And that goes there. Blueprint, snap to grid, relative. And let me flip it, absolutely. So we've got a full belt for each of these resources on each side. We only need uh, yeah, 30 per second Vitamolange extract on one side. So I think that's our layout, actually. this to here as well. Oh. Maybe that maybe not there actually because those pipes have to go somewhere. Let's see how far over to the side we can put this. And I think I went one tile too far. Still have the beacon touching. Yeah, that looks good. Can we flip this? We can. Good. Alright, so it should be pretty trivial then to do the pipe inputs. 
Uh, in fact, that can just go there. Do some three Bs. Um, we'll use snap to grid relative again to avoid any mistakes. And I wonder how much uh, sulfuric acid we would need. Only 120 per second. Cool. So the entire block, if this is going to be the entire block, which is probably fine. Uh, 80, just under 80 per second, Vitalic Acid. Two belts of glass, uh, three belts of Vitamelange Extract. And of course, some Sulfuric Acid. Uh, that seems fine to me. It's also all just outside of the uh, power network. Fantastic. Connect this over here. And pipe. Up here. We want underground for that one. That doesn't happen to line up, does it? Wait. Oh, it totally does. Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, we need it to come over here as well, though. 15 is 1, 2 tiles short. 15, 16, 17. Uh, I don't... There's a middle tile here, so there's not going to be a good symmetrical way to do this, I think. Oh, uh, this is fine. How many tiles is this? Five, six, seven, eight. My least favorite number when it comes to space exploration pipes. Let's just do this. Oh, it's already connected. I forgot as well. At least we can use the undergrounds. Okay. So stations are going to go here. Since we need uh, three belts of Vitamelange extract, we're going to do one of these big unloaders. Probably not the one that goes to the left, um, because then it'll just have to split out this way as well. Start with this one. guess we should probably use a balancer, in which case I will actually just have it go out to the left and then balance and split it. Uh, 180 per second, I don't want to use that one yet. Is this going to be in the way of the pipes? Yes. Just have to move them. And then we'll grab our corner lane and belt balancer, if I can remember where I put it. There we go. Actually, I think that's one tile off being exactly in the center. So let's put that here. And I 
probably. Never mind, I can't get symmetrical if I do that. Uh, so. I don't think it matters which of these belts I use. So we'll just start with this one. We also need to... Uh, we need two belts, I believe, of glass. LT, uh, not LTN, balanced in loaders. Right, 90 per second. There goes another rocket. Fantastic. And is this extract? It's extract. Extract. Connect that to here. Connect all of this here. Glass. Fantastic. Spiders, get out of the way, I can't see. That one's actually lined up already. Except we need to split it into four. Uh, I think... Split that one down there. One tile short. Tragic. Um, same thing would apply if I put this over here. Alright. And this one. these into the middle ones. Maybe if I do this, it's going to look a little bit neater. That's still not going to reach over there, is it? It's closer. As for these two, got an easier job of putting these where they need to go because we don't have to worry that we're going to block something else. It's actually like three tiles. Nice. That should do it. Um, so let's set up a requester for glass. C for cat. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's drop a... Drop off here and I'll move that just once. Uh, where did my stations go? There we are. Put that here and I'll make an exception for that one. 
Good evening. Good evening, Sifika. Uh, so we're going to request glass. A couple of train loads. And change the name of this station to glass requester. Not requester glass, glass requester. Fantastic. Uh, next is... Vitamolange extract and sulfuric acid. Stack size 50 means two train loads is 16k. Although maybe I should bump it up a bit more because it mostly consumes Vitamolange extract. It's only 120 per second. Um, which takes a little bit more than a minute to consume actually. All right, fine, we'll double this. And the other one is sulfuric acid. Fantastic. Switch those on. And we should soon be receiving some trains. Um, and I think... I think this build is complete, except for the output station. Of which, we're only going to need one, surely. 79... 80 per second, basically. Um, we can just do a... Fast inserters for loaders here. Standard pickup. You never see how these are rotated very easily. And we are providing metallic acid. And we just need to connect these outputs. Get this one. Uh, let's see. I think it should be fine if we just have each of these go to a pair of the outputs, since they're all sharing the same balanced inputs. Two trains on the way already. Fantastic. I'll change this back to actually do some power management uh, before I forget. And are our trains able to get here? It looks like they are. Fantastic. We could maybe use more space, but then we'd have a, a lot more... We're already up to three belts of Vitamolange instra uh, extract that we need as input. Having wide area beacons and able to make machines go this fast really makes me not that worried about um, ramming lots of machines into a small space. And once we get sulfuric acid, um, then we can see this thing working. I'm surprised how long it's taking to send it, though. Okay, we definitely do have sulfuric acid available. Quite a lot of it, it seems. That's good. 
Fantastic. So LTN is just being a little bit slow. What are you doing? Uh, what? This thing got overfilled. How much are we requesting here? 25k. And how much is in these chests? 57k. And it is connected to the train stop input. This displeases me. I mean, what? Request stack threshold 160, bit of melange extract 25k, connect it to the chests, 57,000 bit of melange extract. Literally more than double the amount that we requested at that station. Um, I'm just going to try turning it off and on, which is to say I'm going to delete that station and put it back in case there's some weird invisible thing with the wires going on here. Okay. Meanwhile, that should be sulfuric acid. It is, and that was loaded very, very quickly. Train doesn't have to go very far before we'll be able to see our new block in action. There's something missing here. Oh, it's a there's a bot that didn't have room in the uh, construction spider. Actually. I also forgot to replace the underground pipe. So we're going to have to send the construction spiders uh, back here. Once they fix this. At least I would hope it would fix it. And, I mean, we already saw it, but just to confirm, 25,000 vitamelange extract easily fits in um, 24 steel chests. It's literally less than half. Okay. So we're going to deconstruct this, undo, and redo this wire connection because those tend to disappear with certain copy-paste operations with LTN stuff. And this is Vitamelange Extract Requester. Hopefully that sorts out whatever weird thing was happening there. And now it's night time and we're turning off our beacons. So I can't see this working just yet. We could maybe make a little exception. Actually, that accumulator is half empty. Oh wow. I think we're making it through the night without the accumulators crashing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We might have Holmium Accumulators uh, by now. Let's see. They would be getting built up here, I think. Yeah, they can only be made in a space manufacturing. We've got everything we need except five heavy girders for this one specifically, so we've probably built a few already. 636. That's much better than zero. Why are we lacking girders, though? Uh, girders. Girders, girders. There's no girders here. Well, there might be a few in those chests, but not enough for delivery. Down. Uh, we do have some girders here. 
it stopped picking them up from the belts because we don't have enough iridium plate. And I've got something in place to uh, make sure that those are balanced. So iridium is a little bit slow right now. At least for our current needs. It would help if we weren't shoveling girders into um, the weapon delivery cannons. To that end, let's get our military spiders to go on another adventure. And I should probably also double check um, the systems that we have in place to supply us with Iridium as well. But considering all the Iridium plate and girders weren't completely dried up, well that might just be because we don't have a train load to pick up yet. But we have multiple sources of Iridium. I doubt they would all break at the same time. That might be enough for one trip. Let's head back. And where are we getting our Iridium from? Fornax, primarily. Uh, we have an Iridium mine here. We're also poor mining. We kind of need to massively increase our delivery cannon capsule production here, I think. These are all set to do erudite itself, and these ones are core fragments. So we're bottlenecking on delivery cannon capsules. Um, maybe I could... Does this one need to go fast? Yeah, it needs to go almost as fast as it is already. Hmm. I really want to direct insert everything from here to... The second one of these assembly machines. But the bacon is in the way. Uh, we could definitely remove this for the moment. If I move that over one tile, that won't be speeding this thing up. If I move this up here, you could put this over here, and then can't move that substation without messing anything up. We are going to need copper plate output like this so that we can um, do we have a substation? I yeah we've got 800 substations there should be a bot on the way to place that already there we go okay so this goes here goes here Fantastic. Might need another... Oh, that's fine. And we're going to 
going to need another assembling machine three for copper plate. Could we make that a stack filter? Uh, that almost accomplishes what we're setting out to do, but we need to bring this over here. Well, we could do, uh, we could do some chests here. It can direct insert, it'll be just as fast. Just in case. Yeah, it's 10 copper cable per recipe, so it needs to be a little bit fast. But I think that will do it. Uh, if we have the inserters and stuff. Apparently we don't have fast inserters. But we've got plenty of stacks. So I guess we'll just make that one a stack. We had a passive provider chest a minute ago. I don't know where it went. Apparently we don't have any in the robo network. Does this guy have the... Yeah. Okay, cool. Bring the construction spider over. Thank you for the follow, Silent Storm. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you have fast inserters? Yeah, you do. Also, this is now slightly out of range of the Robo Network. I guess we'll add another one. Assuming we have it. Yep. Okay. Uh, and we can probably just reduce this to one stack. No idea how I missed doing this before. No worries, we got it done. Alright, so we've doubled our iridium that we're receiving from... Uh, what's the planet called again? Hornax. There's also, I think the only other source of iridite that we have is probably dried up by now, just about. It's a little bit slow. Uh, 3.84 erudite per second. And it looks like this is still working. Yep. How much iridium are you making? Um, well, lately, erudite itself, um, uh, in the last hour, it's a very wavy graph. 1.1k per minute. Uh, iridium core fragments... Iridite core fragments, 413 per minute. You have centralized smelting for that? Um, not for iridium just yet. We might centralize uh, smelting for things like that when we do our next... Um, uh, Omni Smelter design, but the last one was based on belts, and there's only so many resources that you can uh, belt to the industrial furnaces, realistically. Also, in the blocks that we've been making uh, for these types of resources, we've been doing these other processing steps right before the ingots as well. Uh, that reminds me, Vorasaur said that... Yep, here it is. I think we're... That's weird. We've definitely got vulcanite blocks. They're probably not in these chests, that's why. So the way this uh, is set up is we read what's in the input stations as opposed to what's in these chests here for decision making. So this uh, this Omni Smelter block thinks it's run out of Vulcanite blocks because there are zero in these steel chests. 
Um, therefore, it is using the regular uh, copper smelting recipe. That's happening a lot right now. We do not have enough vulcanite to keep up with our regular smelting. Um, I wonder if I should... We've got a vulcanite core fragment planet on Mariel. We've also got a bunch of vulcanite itself. Oh, what happened here? Oh! Hello, missing decider combinator. That is... Uh, critical in getting resources sent to Mariel and therefore having them sent back. I wonder what happened to our Vulcanite supply. Meteors, indeed. We've got, uh, we've got ten media defense installations, but apparently that wasn't enough. Wow. Okay, I think it's time to go on a little trip. Um... I had the same thing happen to the power supply on my Vulcanite planet. Rip. Yeah, why do I have experimental data in my inventory? Let me go put that back where it belongs. And we'll get out of orbit. Um, I believe it's... Oh, here. Before that incident. Right. Even distribution. Um, here. Oh, there's so much going on. Here is a good spot to find some uh, space capsules. Or here is fine too. Do you make the ammunition on site? Yes. Uh, so the idea was to make the smallest possible outpost. Uh, the smallest one... Whoops. Star map. What was that? The smallest one we've got on Hagen, it uses uh, point defenses. That only needs steel and coal, which we can put directly into uh, the... Uh, Delivery cannon chest. So as long as you're happy to only cover a small area, that's fine. Uh, obviously, that's not going to hold up forever, especially if you have a giant solar array. We need to go back to Hagen as well. I also want to add more core mining drills. And we'll upgrade the solar panels and stuff. But it seems like our Fryonite is... If not completely stopped, then it's not coming at night time now, so that's a problem. We also had a coronal mass ejection, I think, on Hagen that destroyed some pipes or power poles or something. Or maybe it missed them. Uh, anyway, let's head back this way. I do want to grab a bunch of those tier 2 accumulators to take back to Nalvis. Uh, so let's organize those. Definitely want to take some wide area beacons back as well. Just give me all of the Holmium Accumulators, please. Fantastic. I don't need to be carrying space assemblies back to Nalvis. And I think that'll just about do for now. Why are there so many blank data cards here? How many are there? 7.8k, that's just enough to not trigger a train delivery to take them back, I think. What's happening here? This thing got broken somehow. 
Okay. Um, let's go grab a capsule. Drink. And back we go. Thinking about doing that. Yeah, so what we've got on uh, Mariel, for example, is one delivery cannon chest here delivers... All of these items you see listed on the constant combinator. Uh, if any, the setting on this decider combinator is uh, each equal to one output each, if I recall correctly. So we're basically sending a signal if there's zero uh, in the delivery cannon chest. When we send that signal, the delivery cannons on the other side send that resource to this chest. Um, steel and stone brick goes in this chest instead of here. We've got copper going to these two. Uh, green circuits. Un emptying barrels. Recycling the barrels into steel. Uh, batteries and media defense ammo and delivery cannon capsules, of course. Um, how many of these? We've got 48 packed cargo rocket sections here. I don't think we're going to need to send any cargo rocket sections with us this time. Um, put that in... I almost forgot how this one works, but that is effectively going to be trash pickup. Um, we'll head back to the mall. That is a lot of capsule. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, something got smashed here as well. Unfortunate. Uh, we're also missing a basic beacon. Let's get our construction spiders back here. And where is the mall? Just south. Okay. Uh, I want to drop off these... Well, how many... We're going to Marielle. That is... Oh, I remember how long this took to make. That is a lot of accumulators and solar panels. We did this without any um, Spidertrons. Hence, I don't have a Spidertron at the destination to fix this. Also, before I forget... Uh, I was going to say I should check what we've got in the robo network here but if we had a combinator this would already be fixed i might be able to fix it remotely we literally just need a couple of combinators we should also do some repair packs um do we have request chests we have green chests we also have blue okay let's do some Air packs. And... Repair pack less than 100. We need a few constant combinators. All right, looks like we're going to be able to fix this without going there. Oh, we do have a spider there. Well. Can I perhaps persuade you to just fix this in one go? Also, apparently we're lacking green circuits and 
copper cable anyway. Do you not have repair packs? Apparently we don't have iron plate or copper plate. Hmm. There's copper here. There's iron here. It's getting to the point where it's enough of a pain. But I just want to go there anyway. Um... Wait, we've got iron plate here, but I think we finished... Yeah, we actually drained an entire iron mine. Um, since we were desperately in need of iron back then. Alright, let's get you to pick all of this up. I'm surprised there was a construction spider there, considering I remember taking ages to, um... Okay, that's pretty convenient. There's an iron mine there, and we can fill these smelters directly. I'll get rid of half of them, since we don't have the modules for them anyway. A Sigma Beam. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I read that if the delivery cannon chest is full, any payload sent causes damage. Uh, I haven't actually tried it, but it wouldn't surprise me. Um, so that's why we only send when this is empty. We could set it to deliver more of them, but um, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a lag slash latch behavior on the other side anyway. Because we can't um, connect circuit wire to a delivery cannon, we connect the circuit wire to the inserter. And we just um, enable or disable that one based on what's going on. Um, so we also need copper. Where's our spider? Good spider. Let's get you to pick all of those up. And we'll place some iron mines. The old tier one beacon. Bring this over here. Split on. It's fine, actually. Oh, wait, don't, no, no. Is that connected? It is not. Cool. I think I had some other destination I wanted to go to as well. So it's fine that I jumped out of orbit already. Uh, let's get you back here again. And I think... We should probably take some of this iron for our own purposes. Where's the limit of the robo network? Okay. Stack inserter. And spider up here, please. We also need some copper. Right side priority. 
Why don't we have a red chest? We do have a red chest. Okay, I'm not too concerned by the rate of these ones. I'll just do like four of these. Forget the belts. Turn these around. Direct insert into smelter. Set that to copper. Laziest mining ever. Fantastic, and we're probably going to need a RoboPod up here as well. Do we have a RoboPod? Surely we have a RoboPod. Spider does not have a RoboPod. What about the robot network? I don't see any robot ports here. Can we move one? We could probably move this one. That's what I send the content of the circuit to limit the sending cannon. Yeah, and you definitely want to set it up. I mean, this is a great example. Uh, you definitely want to send it up so that you have to send a signal to make the delivery cannon send something, otherwise this would have been obliterated and we would have sent lots and lots and lots of resources to this uh, rubble over here. Alright, that's our copper. What about iron? Why don't we have iron yet? This has been sent up. Oh, we missed one little underground belt, that's why. And I think the bots are delivering it already. Fantastic. I might just get the instruction spider to pick this up. Well, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. It is pretty full for the moment, though. Uh, this thing was supposed to send to Nalvis Vulcanite, but somehow it got the space capsule not entered, not put in first. Yeah, I I, sh I set this to cargo rocket section greater than or equal to hundred. It should have just been cargo rocket greater than zero. Um, why don't we put oops purple chest here? Apparently we're out of storage space. No, we're not out of storage space. Oh, there we go. So that should be sending Vulcanite to Nervous immediately. I think it's already launching, otherwise this wouldn't be empty. Fantastic. I don't actually remember where on Nalvis, uh this is supposed to go. So I'm a little bit concerned by that. Nalvis Orbit Vulcanite. We only made these since we did the rail blocks in space. 
Um, it could have been in the old main bus base. If, if it was removed, I would have thought... Um, I would have thought this drop-down would have had Nelvis Vulcanite removed from it. It also won't auto-launch if the uh, cargo... Uh, if the landing pad isn't empty. But, yeah, the base is so big I don't actually know where that went. Salam, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Spiders are a little bit upset. Oh, wow. It just dropped... Um, one of the, uh, weapon delivery cannons just wasted a shot on biters that were at the wall. And destroyed some of our wall in the process. Yeah, use with care indeed. Um, but yeah, I actually don't know where our landing pad is. Um, for Vulcanite. <laughs> uh, okay. I thought it was in the old main bus space. I just don't know. What does it look like on the map? It looks like kind of just a square thing. Just a big blue square. I thought you had a block for a bunch of pads. Yeah, that's this. Um, this was made after, after we did Space Rail, and that Vulcanite thing was quite a while ago. Quite a while ago. Well. Um. I don't know if that just. If that Vulcanite delivery just crashed somewhere, or. If it was, um. Sent somewhere useful. That's cannon chests, yeah. Um. I don't even know where to look. It's definitely not up here somewhere. It should be somewhere remote-ish. Like, it's literally just a cargo landing pad plus inserters and stuff. But it would have been before we made a build like this because... Uh, because cargo rockets crash sometimes. Because that's not as far away, it won't crash as often. Hmm. It's really going to bug me if I can't find this, because I'm going to imagine that all of that Vulcanite is just being destroyed somewhere, or most of it crashing onto the ground. Hey, artillery shell range. Let's see how much range we've got. Uh, so... Those semicircles, th those circles that you can see there are from artillery. That's the auto target range now. And with a targeting, that is pretty far. But we've kind of outgrown artillery, regular artillery for now, at least on Nalvis. Speaking of military things. Spiders still have a decent amount of ammo. 
They're doing a few more bases, that's fine. I could do a deconstruction planner. Um, use the satellite view. Deconstruction planner, cargo landing pad. Oh, that's so slow. There's seven in total in this entire area. Uh, I thought we had eight here. Oh, I see. It's not including... It's not including the fog of war. So now that's 11. Um, how many do we have over here? Just the one. And it's way up here. We found it. Nervous Vulcanite. Fantastic. Okay, so hopefully that will... That alone, the temporary Vulcanite, uh, might get our smelters working more efficiently again. But we also need to replace these combinators. Uh, for that we need green circuits, which we have here. Let's add a passive provider and copper wire. Uh, we'll just do this. I thought we were going to have to make some more assembly machines, but that's nice and easy. And that'll give us repair packs. Oh, we've already... we already should have some repair packs. Fantastic. Uh, now we just need some combinators. That's way too full. Um, set this to... A cider. So we've got our constant combinator done. We just need a little bit of green circuit. We actually need five green circuits. Can we delete this one. One to go. It's on the way. Fantastic. Okay, I think we'll... Um, I think we'll automate this to make sure there's going to be um, a few of them for next time. I mean, hopefully there's never going to be a next time. You would think 10 media defense installations would be enough. Maybe the cannons misfire occasionally. I doubt it, though. I've never seen them do that before. Um, that's out of range of... Oh, it's power. I'm gonna limit constant combinators. Fantastic. We probably don't need to request quite as much as this. Okay. And we've also got Vulcanite coal mining going as well. Beautiful. That should take care of all of those um, how you say, uh, Omni smelters we have on Nalvis that we're not using Vulcanite recipes. It'll take a while to catch up though. Alright, so we didn't have to go on a trip to fix that. Um, 
Now, Cryonite is kind of broken, I believe, though. At the very least, it's broken at night time. I would also just like to add more coal mining drills to it. And we could also maybe upgrade some of these solar panels. Uh, we also sort of need to... Upgrade this to have media defense installations. How do you find the ideal amount of core mining drills? It depends on how much power you have. Um, it's really hard to say precisely how much. 15 megawatts per core mining drill. Um, you can power manage those so that they don't run when accumulator charge drops a little bit. Um, if you want to, but I think it's power of twos, like one core mining drill, uh, you need two squared to get the equivalent of two, three squared to get the equivalent of three, four squared to get the equivalent of four, and so on. So, the diminishing returns kick in pretty quickly. So, you probably, uh, you know, on a on most um, outposts, you're probably looking at like nine at the most. Well, that depends on how good your solar panels are or whatever. We've actually got nuclear power. Oh, this again. Is anything actually broken? There's no delivery cannon capsules. Because there's no explosives and... Copper. Because there's no combinators. These, um... These strikes are specific, uh, are suspiciously accurate. I'm beginning to think that something is wrong with the way we're delivering items here with the delivery cannon chests. Either that, or maybe the delivery cannons do occasionally misfire, although I've never seen it happen. Um, we actually have, like, a lot of heat shielding and LDS in here. Maybe we've got too many delivery cannons pointed at this. Maybe if the chest is full. Yeah, I've set it up so that we have to be... Uh, the chest has to be lacking um, any LDS to send LDS, for example, I think. Uh, we've got no... F We're running off solar only. Okay, um, let's... This is also using media point defenses, so I haven't got green circuits set up or anything. Uh, we've got bots, yes. We don't have a spider, I don't think. Um... I might have to go there. There's iron and copper quite close by. Like, really close by, actually. Okay, iron's not that close. Maybe I should take this opportunity to upgrade Holmium as well. I don't think we've had that much trouble with Holmium, even though we're only running off one core mining drill. Maybe it's off. Check the cannon. Um, it's not delivering because we don't have these constant combinators. The cannons... Let me just check the name of that planet. Uh, Taser. The cannons are over here... Is that the only one? Yeah. 
Which one's aimed at Taser? Maria? Cornax? Lothar? Ma Moors? Rose? Taser. Here we go. We've only got one cannon for each resource here. Oh. Wait, no. I was going to say there's no circuit wire on this one. But the circuit wire is actually on the inserters for... Um, for inputting the delivery cannon capsules. So we deliver... We put the other resource into the cannon regardless. And then when when we receive a signal that tells us there's exactly zero LDS at the destination, uh, we should probably set this to stack size 1. I wonder if that started happening after we upgraded our stack size. Because typically what happens is... Well, let's actually demonstrate it, if I can. Um, what typically happens is... We get down to zero LDS. It sends the signal to say we're out of LDS, could you please send some more? There's a bit of a lag between... Um, that the inserter starts putting delivery cannon capsules into... Uh, into the cannon. And it puts more than one. Like, it puts two or three, maybe, into the delivery cannon. And those get queued up. Um, it's only when we actually receive the first bit of LTS that it stops shoveling in uh, delivery cannon capsules. And... Judging by the fact that we have... I don't know how, even with that, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of LDS here. One could limit that too. Yeah, I'm thinking... I think it's quite likely that when we upgraded the stack sizes to the final tier, where even the basic inserters have a stack size of three, that may have just pushed it over the edge to where it can overfill these chests. Although, I would have expected... Maybe not, actually. This needs copper and explosives, and it's consumed all of that. And then it's not consuming heat shield or LDS. So even if I could um, replace these combinators. The time it would take to fix this... Oh, we've got copper. Yeah, the time it would take to mess around and fix this... Um, I think I would rather just go there. Uh, we could probably not take regular accumulators anymore, maybe. Let me just drop off the, um, Holmium accumulators that I have. Is there any reason to carry regular accumulators or solar panels anymore? Let's say no, tentatively. Okay. And let's change our requests here. Um, if regular accumulators go to 5 megajoules and these go to 50, we can drop this by 10 times, and it's going to be Holmium Accumulator. Also, how do we make Holmium Accumulator? They have to be made in space manufactories. So I can't set them to be made here, sadly. Um, I don't think we even have 600 volume accumulators. Actually. We don't 
need to take any power items. Wait, why is this not outputting? I, I set this constant combinator here so it doesn't take the spiders out of the cargo rocket, even though they're not part of these requests here, because they, I put them in manually after setting them up as construction spiders. Or rather, deconstruction spiders, so they don't have the logistic requests. But I don't understand why we're not uh, removing the old accumulators. Set filters, set stack size. Where does this wire go? Times negative, times one output S. Anything greater than zero. Input signals. Oh, it's only outputting the spiders here. That's why. So, actually, I should just connect this here. There we go. So we'll remove that stuff that we don't need to take on this trip. Uh, taser. Do we have cargo rocket sections? We do not. So let's make sure we take some of those with us. Uh, 200, sure, seems good. 500 construction bots, sure, why not? Bring the spiders with us, I'll leave one or two behind. Um, we'll be able to recycle the space capsule. I think I like the idea. We'll see if can implement the not sending more than one capsule at a time next time I play. Oh, uh, I may have got distracted, but I was thinking I should probably change it. So, as well, I, I want to try it with this first, just to see if we can confirm our suspicions. Which one just fired? It was this one, you can tell from the inserter. So we're setting this to stack size 1. I accidentally copied all of that. Whoops. Uh... Uranium, coal, uh, steel, iron plate, copper plate, and explosives. Didn't copy those down here. Good. Stack size one. It's going to be a bit tedious to change these. The other option that I had in mind. Why was that one set to stack size two? The other thing I had in mind was, instead of controlling uh, the inserters that put in the delivery cannon capsules, we could instead block the, uh, block the inserters that put in the actual item that stacks. Since they'll take longer to fill up uh, the inputs. Um, Especially for something like this that doesn't have to go that fast. Um, it probably makes a lot more sense. We could just copy the same settings like that, actually. But for now, I want to run the experiment whereby stack size 1 fixes it.
Okay, uh, we're still removing the old accumulators. Um, don't actually have... We've only got 586 Holmium accumulators here. Hazer is not lacking in power. And we haven't got an automated... Oh, we are removing these already. Okay, good. I'll give the inserter a hand. Um, so I think we also need to set up a rocket. I don't think we can afford very many of these at the moment, because we have no Iridium. Did Iridium actually stop for a while, or was it just slow? Fornax. Oh, that's right. We Yeah, it was slow, but it was working. We just added... Um, Uh, we just added some stuff here to double the rate of delivery cannon capsules. So even so, it still has to catch up. So Fornax is set up exactly the same way as the other ones that we found broken earlier. Um, I do see more than four stacks of LDS. Which is a bit concerning. Fornax might be a good opportunity to test this, actually. Uh, this is Fornax. So we're going to change the stack sizes uh, to 1. was all of them, wasn't it? Alright, so we're obviously sending explosives all the time. Um, once it charges up, it's going to send. Once it lands, that light is going to go red. Or, in this case, actually, the explosives are getting taken and put into these machines so quickly that it's just constantly going. Um, Hopper is... We shouldn't be... S Let me just check how I've got this set up. Oh, I did set it up so that we can send multiple stacks of explosives. But the rest of these are set up for the bare minimum. Um, and on those other planets, I don't think it was explosives that we saw a whole lot of here. Explosives is actually set to just, like, one stack. Which... Wait, this all got damaged again. I think we just proved it. Uh... There's still, like, a lot of empty slots here. You would think it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, which planet is this? Mariel. Let me go check on... the cannons for Mariel. It is aimed at the delivery cannon chest, right? I mean, I think we would have noticed if it wasn't a bit sooner. There's a slight difference in some of these. Um, let's try setting the stack size on these inserters to 1. I might just retarget all of these very, very carefully, just to eliminate that variable. 
I don't think that's the problem, but I want to be absolutely sure. So we're sending one, two, three. Yeah, I'm guessing with the stack size of three, it would have overloaded like extra delivery cannon capsules in here. As it was set up already, it would send a couple of extra stacks because of the lag time. Also, why don't we have more? We do have repair packs. We've got construction bots here, do we not? Where's our spider? Uh, it's right here and very hard to see. So it's definitely in range to repair this. It doesn't seem to have any repair packs. Oh, it doesn't have a full set of quests. Repair pack 100. Put it back in range. Okay, repair packs are coming. But do we not have construction bots in the network? We have one construction bot in the entire network. Okay, that helps. Alright, so we haven't got this set up to take any extra stacks. Um, let's just double check these. And last but not least... Uh, why aren't we... Delivering any sulfuric acid barrels. Oh, because we have like two. How much power does that planet have to power that umbrella? Uh, let's see. About this much power. Um, so we're looking at 82.3 gigajoules. Oh, and it's using flat solar panels. I don't remember even having those when we did this one. Alright, which other planet was broken that we were going to visit because it would be easier? Pornax is working. Um, it's plenty of empty space for Pornax. Was that the one that we changed? I think it was. For testing reasons. Uh, Rose, Aza, wait, that says Rose? That doesn't look like Rose. Oh, it is Rose, okay. Um, Moors, oh, I was thinking of Moors, not Rose. Derp. Okay, Fornax. Yeah, this is the one that we, we've got a constant throughput and we changed it to... Stack size 1 for the inserters that put in the delivery cannon capsules. And now you see... Uh, the other resources... LDS is still... Okay, why did we just put in a fourth stack of LDS? Putting in a couple of stacks of copper plate is normal. But why LDS? LDS greater than zero, and here's some LDS. I don't... We're not requesting extra LDS? Yeah, I don't understand. Well, as long as the chest doesn't end up full. Uh, that's what really matters. Actually, we'll do some science here now as well. 
Connect all of these. And we'll give them the exact same conditions. Stack size 1 on those inserters is probably overkill. We might end up with some throughput issues. But I want to see how it goes. Vavronek, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. More different cannons pointing on this chest, maybe historical reasons. Like another set of cannons over here somewhere, for example. Um, I don't think so. These actually have... I was going to say they have no target. These ones have no recipe. If you... hang on, if I mouse over them... It doesn't show where they're pointed. That means I have to click on all of these. All of the ones with recipes in them. Oh. Okay. It should be... Well then. That would probably help explain it. Do we even need any of these anymore? Uh, I think not. Vegan taser. Okay, I need to do a lot of clicking here. The sound is going to get annoying, so I'm going to turn it off. Taser. 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 Taser, Marielle, Hagen, Taser, Marielle, Hagen, Hagen, Marielle, Taser, Hagen, Marielle, Taser, Hagen, Marielle. Okay. Um, turn the sound back on. Was it fifty six percent? Wasn't it? That sounds about right. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's not do that, actually. Just disconnect those. And I need to get the deconstruction spiders over here. It's well past time. So it's probably the combination of those two things. Um, where are our deconstruction spiders? I changed the remote. I don't know where to find them now. Is this it? Fantastic. That was easy. Alright. Deconstructors. That's a lot of stuff we need to pick up. Get rid of the stations for starters. The rail block here. It's going to be doing most of that heavy lifting, actually. Quite a bit of it. And the rest. I guess I could have done all that in one go. You limit the capsule's input, but the LDS loading is unlimited. Inserted by default input more than required in assembler. So it's always loaded with more than required for one capsule. And because of the lag between shooting slash receiving, it has enough time to load a second capsule and shoot a new shot. Yes, indeed. Which was all fine um, for sharing like eight or nine resources. Well, not nine, because the nine is split up between two different chests. Uh, that was fine for sharing a bunch of resources in one chest. So long as it only sends two or three stacks of each. 
Um, but yeah. I'm actually... I was going to say I'm actually really surprised it took this long to run into this problem and discover it. But it must be the combination of having this old rail block doing the same thing and also getting the stack size upgraded to 3 that finally pushed it over the edge to where it would start doing some damage. Uh, Asandanima? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, are we good to go? Is there anything else I want to take? Uh, to taser. Yeah, definitely. I want to take more core mining drills. Um, drill. Uh, like ten. We probably won't be placing all of them, but it is possible to lose some. Apparently we don't make core mining drills here. Um, let's remedy that. Mm, let's just get a chest full. Four mining drills are on the way. And the recipe changed. And it's back. That's the trouble with this. We don't have electric mining drills queued up. Uh, okay. In that case... Drills. 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 I'm surprised if we don't have big mining drills getting built here already, actually. I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. The spiders carry 50 each, so I guess it takes a while to run out. Can we stop making space belt for now? Fantastic. Thought that was the only place we're requesting wide area beacons though. Uh, I definitely want to go to the trouble of updating this blueprint. But maybe in my off time. And I'll show how it works on the stream. Okay. So we're going to have to wait for the core mining drills. Uh, what else do we want to take to taser? I was going to say, did it just get damaged again? But no. I'm really really glad we set it up so that it has to send a positive signal um, in order for the cannons to fire. Which one's taser? Maybe I should put labels on these. Uh, this is rose. And this is uh, planet. It is T A S E R, right? It's Z E R. America. Okay. Did I set these to stack size one? Yes, good. Fantastic. Size one. I'm guessing either having the stack size at three or not having that other rail block doing the same thing uh, would have been sufficient to avoid this problem. But I'll set these to stack size one anyway.
Can I just copy paste? No, it's not facing the same way. Copper. Explosives. I think it's mirrored. Yeah, it's mirrored. So let's flip that around. Fantastic. That one's the same. I think we already fixed it though. And this goes here. That does not go there. It's not mirrored, it's flipped. Copper plate, iron plate. Right, good. Which one's this? Lothar. Zug Zug. Uh, this will be Fornax. Fornax. Oh. Planet. Can I stop mistyping? Ever? There we go. Or next. And Maria. And which one's this? Oz. I did the same thing again. Alright, so we know which one of these, which ones of these are which now. And they should all be set to stack size one. Oh! How's our... We've got three coal mining drills, that's not bad. Still maybe speed this up a bit. Fantastic. It takes... Oh, both of these want electric mining drills, actually. Uh, 40 for this and 1 for this. We can just let it finish the big mining drills, I think. Okay, what else? Um... It's gonna be a little bit of a nuisance. It's actually going to be a lot of a nuisance to try to set up um, higher throughput. If we need to make more than one machine to make assembly machine, uh, to make uh, delivery cannon capsules here, it's going to be a bit of a nuisance. But I think we'll just do like four core binding drills, which one of these should be able to support pretty easily. Um, we've actually got nine here, which is equivalent to three drills without the diminishing returns. And... Well, it's going to be a different rate on every planet, so let's check. Taser? Uh, we're looking at 0 0.32 delivery cannon capsules per second. The stack size here is 100. Uh, no, it's 50. Uh, 11.084. Let's do per minute. So that is 
uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, a bit more than 13 stacks per minute, 19 delivery cannon capsules per minute. We're actually already relatively close to consuming all of the delivery cannon capsules. That is when this will be going at full speed. Hmm. We could do a whole other build, but it's going to be a bit of a pain to set up the delivery cannons and everything. I think I would rather just fix it for now, move on to some other things, and maybe do a redesign. Alright, where's our drills? We probably will double the drill throughput though. We've got six. That's more than we need. I'll just leave this to its devices. And there was one more thing on Taser that we need to fix as well. We had a coronal mass ejection uh, that destroyed some pipes, so I need to make sure I take those. Um, also, we want to take an umbrella. Uh, let's put that over here. I don't think we have one. And I need to check how much power this can make. 288 megawatts at least. Um, electricity. 5.82 megawatts. Whoops. It says 5.8. I guess it's 5.82 megawatts maximum. Uh, times how much? Two hundred and seventy nine point three six and plus the solar panels. I might upgrade the solar panels that we do have and accumulators actually. So we will take some flats and accumulators. That'll reduce the amount of nuclear fuel that we need to run this place. Assuming that we need any. They haven't actually run out of nuclear fuel. Oh, because we haven't been drilling and uh, using the delivery cannons. It's all running on solar and it's not having any trouble with that. There's actually still steam here, even. Although the temperatures have dropped to the point where we're not making more steam. There's a car here, isn't that cute? Also, the pipes are only necessary for refueling the cargo rocket to go back home. Uh, so no worries there. Do you have a robo network. Should probably take a bunch of repair packs. Combinators. Make sure to leave those here. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we've loaded our solar panels and all of the accumulators we have. Anything else at all that we want to take to Taser? Um, we've even got replacement signal transmitters and receivers here. 
think this will probably be fine. Uh, where's the umbrella gonna fit? Umbrella. Goes under equipment and stuff. I guess we'll put it over here somewhere. That's gonna be in range of the point defenses. I can do it up right now, actually. We actually only need like 56 flats. 355 accumulators. Unless we want to add some more. But we got to keep it all underneath the media point defenses. Okay. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I should just carry the accumulators and flat salt panels we need. Uh, don't, don't trash them. No, not yet. So what's our number again? Because that way we won't lose them to the cargo rockets being derpy. Uh, 56 and 355. So we need like three stacks of this to upgrade all of them. One, two, three, fifty-five. Fantastic. We've got our umbrella as well. Cool. Let's get going then. I also think I'll put all of the uh, spiders in my inventory. I'll leave this here. Alright, so we're going to Taser. Wait, let me quadruple thousand check. Taser, good. Uh, taser, Taser, Taser. And Taser landing pad. We need some more fuel. Probably should have thought of that. Uh, we do have like 100k fuel here, it just has to flow in. So that's not going to take long at all. Cargo safety 99%, landing chance 98%. I don't like those odds. Oh, repair packs. Um, let's... Bring those. A Rorosaur. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you asked about... You commented on the Vulcanite blocks not being used in uh, the Omni Smelter uh, recipes. It's because we ran out of Vulcanite blocks, and it probably has something to do with the fact that uh, we broke our combinators here that were designed to signal which resources to send. Um, and the reason that happened is because we sent... I, I think it happened... It started happening when we finally got the maximum insert a stack size. We had a rail block up here that was also sending resources to um, to some of the planets that these delivery cannons are aimed at. And there was a bit of doubling up. Uh, we have a stack we had a stack size of three putting the um, delivery cannon capsules into these delivery cannons. So it was sending... It normally sends one or two extra stacks because we've got a bunch of delivery cannons uh, capsules queued up in here before the light goes red on these inserters. 
so I think this block that we forgot about and the stack size of three just barely pushed it over the edge uh, to break some of those. So now we're fixing them. Thought there was Vulcanite? Uh, it stopped for a while. Probably saw the filters on the stacking servers. Filters on the stacking servers. Oh, these ones? Well, that's a filter inserter anyway. Anyway, uh, it did bring it to my intention, and it was important. So, thanks for that. We were able to fix uh, Mariel without going there. Um, we just got some really basic mining set up, got some repair packs, got some combinators replaced. No big deal. Uh, as for Taser, we've had to give it a little visit. Um, I was wondering if we could fit this here, actually. One, two, three tiles. One, two, three. It's a bit late to use um, picker dollies to move that there. We've got 50 logistic bots here already. Fantastic. Let's add some more storage. We'll also add a spider. And I need to copy paste. Let's see. Construction spider. Um, how do I get back to... Well, that's not what I'm looking for. Elodus system. Taser. New surface. Can I now shift click? Fantastic. Alright, what's next? Uh, I want to add... Well, first of all, I want to upgrade all of these. I didn't just try to double upgrade them to a tier that I don't have, do I? Did I? Some of them, possibly. E yes. Fantastic. Alright, so now it's going to be even less dependent on the nuclear power. Um, I also want to add more core mining drills. I kind of don't want to stop this when we've finally got uh, Holmanite core fragments flowing again. But... I kind of need to. Sixty-five per minute. We can do 19.5 stacks per minute. Um, and this is... Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 and a half. Roughly. I think... Hmm. Yeah, I'll just have to add a bit of belt. But I th think... We'll put the core mining drills over this side. Oh. Where did I put them? Are they in here? Okay. Good. Just check the range of the media point defenses. I want it to be underneath all four of them. 
if possible. Um, how fast is this? Per second, 11. Is it going to be more than half a belt? If we do four, that's the equivalent to two, right? Per minute, yeah, that's worth two. 22.16 per second, that's actually just under half a belt. So we've doubled our Pulmonite Core Fragment throughput. Um, and we should still... Actually, no. Per minute. Uh, that is t like 26 stacks. And we're bottlenecked on 19 here. Unless I figure out a better layout. Much easier to do in person, at least. Uh, it would probably help if we used a beacon. I could actually use a wide area beacon if I want to, but... The minimum... Where is my wide area beacon? There it is. The minimum consumption of 10 megawatts is a bit much, but on the other hand... We do have a lot of spare power here. Um, maybe I will use a wide. So we need these four resources here. It's going to be a pain to get them out of the delivery cannon chest. I could move it down one tile or so. There's only three things that need the stuff from the delivery cannon chest with this design. Um, so that might work out to be much, much easier. Um, I should probably turn off all of the cannons aimed at Pisa for this. Oh, that's aimed at a different chest. I'm not going to be changing that one. Steel. Not uranium. Not uranium. Why is this one switched off? That one should probably be switched on. Although we're not questing it at the moment. Uh, coal switched off. Fine. So it's just these three that go into um, uranium fuel cells that we're, sw that we're leaving switched on for now. Keep the wire connected. We'll maybe move this chest down a bit. See what we can do with that. Like two tiles. Um, wide area bacon go here ish I'm sure this will be overkill uh, productivity modules maybe like this could move these down a tile as well. I don't think that would make much of a difference. Capsule. Delivery cannon capsule. There's two recipes. Maybe iridium plate. Well, iridium plate would simplify this, but 
we've already got this set up, and also Iridium is one of the things that we're slow on for now. So we'll use the usual recipe. Uh, right between these two is positive copper cable, but if there's only one, that's actually still positive copper cable. We don't need two of these. Um, whoa, 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 don't do that. So how should I lay this out? I need it to be able to direct insert to both of them. We could maybe use a long arm with this one. That's probably going to be better. Yeah, I like where this is going. So, how many... That is 60 delivery cannon capsules per minute. I think that's going to be enough for however many uh, core mining drills we're going to put here. Um, 1.33k... over 50 is 26. Uh, this doesn't benefit from speed mo uh, speed modules, right? I'll just confirm that. Yeah. How's your power management in orbit going? At the station, never mind, I don't watch with glasses. Okay. Uh, power management in orbit is very, very easy. Um, although we did start consuming... I was a little bit worried when I saw it go from a tiny, tiny slither to, like, over here. Um, just considering the scale of how much we had spare was way off what I thought it was. Um, but yeah, as long as we're paying attention, we're nowhere near running out of available power in Alvis Orbit. Um, I'll get rid of some more of those RoboPods. Probably this is fine. And replace those with flat solar panels. What? What? What's wrong with having 6.2... 62.6 gigawatts? Better to have more than we need than to run out, right? Especially when it doesn't cost us anything... ...continuously. Uh... Okay, just one problem. How am I gonna get the output from this one? We'll just use an underground belt here. It's fine. There we go. Um, and I think that 60 per minute was actually without speed modules as well. So... That's going to be more than enough. We could probably do the minimum power consumption here as well, though. And it's probably going to be more than we need for as many or mining drills as we want to fit in this place. Um, yeah, we'll add another one up here. Another one down here. Oh, that's going to be more than half a belt, isn't it? First, second, 27. Need to move these. I'm afraid to put them down with bots because um, we had a weird 
bug on another planet where uh, there were like fake mining drills basically and I had to go there physically to fix it. Uh, how many is this? Six? How about seven, eight? Do some landfill. Fishy. I guess the spider can take the fish. Where is my landfill? Here it is. Uh, cannot build on water. What do you mean? Okay. I uh, will put a... So five of these is going to be slightly more than half. Rate calc is doing the thing where it pretends there's ten of them, but not in the actual numbers. Uh, total here is 33 per second. So it's easily going to use... It, it, we're easily going to have room if we use two sides of belt. One, two, three, four, five. And that goes like that. That's all underneath the media defenses. Good. I think we'll have some... We'll probably use logistic bots to deliver some media defense ammo, I think. So we can extend this out a bit. Unless we can fit enough delivery cannons here to support the whole thing. Trying to decide if I should send Holmium ingot to space and lose productivity. Or the plates, any thoughts? Um, if you're sending the ingots to space, doesn't that mean... Oh, the ingots are what turn into the plates, aren't they? Um, personally, I get the productivity wherever I can. Um, why would you use productivity? Because you get more for your stuff. Um, let's see if we can fit this together. I don't know how many cannons it's going to take to keep up with this, actually. Also, we'll probably have to move some of these pipes. Let's not forget to do that. Um, maybe like... Oh, how am I going to shape it? Let's find out. One, two, three, four. This can go further up. Not that it makes a difference. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we're going to be delivering four fragment. Fulminite. And it's going to Narvis. Location is here. And can't use productivity in the machines that transform ingots to plates. In space, yeah. Um, that is fine, actually. Copy this up. I think we'll use a splitter here. Hmm, that's a bit awkward. Uh, 
uh, first insert is probably fine. And then... This one's gonna be... Does this... This does more than... It's only 0.8 per second still. 0.4 per second. So this would need more productivities at more speed if it doesn't keep up with this thing. Um, I'm just going to melt this like so. We're never going to use more than half a belt though. 0 0.8. If we go full speed. Uh, that is 1.4 per second. Okay. So we're gonna do some squiggly belt here. To fit that in. Let's put some undergrounds. I suppose out our belts. I might have to make those a red belt or something. But that part obviously has to be blue belt. Uh, splitter here. We've got plenty of underground still. I don't think we're running out of belt. And this goes here. Don't forget to underground to that. And then do we have a tile here? We do not. Unfortunate. Where's my landfill? Wait, what? Why did you have delivery cannon capsules already? Oh. Uh, it's probably fine. Yeah, I don't think they're going to overfill that chest before I fix it. Uh, this pipe will have to go through here instead of here. I don't think that one's going to reach. Yes, it does. Um, this goes here. Goes there. Cool. Now we just need the wiring from this thing. Oh, it's like one tile short of reaching, because of course it is. Oh, that looks fantastic. And the signal is going to be Nova's DC rail receiver. Fantastic. Core fragment pulmonite greater than zero. I don't understand where all of these launches are coming from. Um, how oh, they all had delivery cannon capsules in there. Have they run out now? That's the last one. Okay. Alright. So, I don't know if we're going to be bottlenecked on eight delivery cannons here. I hope not. Uh, we are still underneath all of the uh, media point defenses. 
So I don't... Well, that one might be a bit dangerous. We'll add some more down here. Why not? Um, request a chest. Doesn't make an unhappy symbol, does it? Not really? I'll just do it like this. some power and we need robo ports to reach over here as well does that actually extend the robo network somehow i have my doubts oh it does Fantastic. An unhappy symbol lull? They think cannon and receiver. With cargo rockets. 500 stacks to fill. Yep. Alright. Uh, we're two media defenses short. Let's just make those. So we've got extra defenses around the coal mining drills, also. Now then, why are we not receiving... Oh, because I switched them off. Because we might have to move the target a little bit. Alright, let's go back to Navis. And... Double check, it's Taser we're targeting. Yes, fantastic. Um, that one's fine already. This one would miss. Let's not do that. Switch that on. Pull. Goes here. Switch that on. LDS goes here. Switch it on. Um, there we go. Explosives. And lastly, copper plate. Fantastic. And we're already making our capsules again. I kind of want to put them on separate sides of the belt. Is this going to work? Nope. Also, stack inserters for this is really overkill. Um, but yeah, that should be fine. I guess fast inserters for these ones really don't make sense. Uh, if anything, it's only going to exacerbate the problem where we load extra delivery panel capsules. That is going pretty fast, although it did have a bunch uh, that filled up on the belt before. We're doing 33 per second. I wish rate calc could tell me exactly... Wait, really? Supposedly this can do 80 per second? Huh. That's a lot of energy to do all that as well. Um, a lot, a lot of energy. Wow. Um, maybe... Maybe this is too much core mining for this planet. I just have this feeling. Uh... <laughs> I probably should have done the math, huh? 
9 times 50 is uh, 450 megawatts. We can currently do 290 with nuclear active. So let's maybe not. Let's go for 4, which will be the equivalent to 2 core mining drills if it didn't have um, the diminishing returns. And that should... that doesn't even fill half a belt, so that's not going to be a problem with the shape of the belts. Um, it's also night time right now, so that doesn't help. Should probably power limit this. Oh, I meant to do that anyway, as well. Um, so what we're going to do is just connect to an accumulator. I'll figure out where these fit as well, in case we decide to do this later. That one's obvious. Should do the same thing here. And that goes there. Okay, let's remove those again. Do you have the water from a separate electric network? Otherwise, water just stops going to nuclear. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I'll have a look. Okay, so then we're going to set these belts to say... Uh, accumu accumulator charge has to be full. Or maybe we could set it a bit lower than that. So because coal mining drills have a minimum consumption of zero, as soon as we block that belt, um, they'll immediately stop consuming power. Did you reconnect the water to nuke power? Yes. I was actually a little bit surprised that this was far enough. Water power, when power is red slash yellow, the throughput goes down, which is a negative loop. That makes sense. Yeah, because pumps actually require power in this mod. Okay, um, I might just slightly increase our storage of... Uh, delivery cannon capsules. And accumulators are charging again. Fantastic. I'll place the rest of these flat solar panels. Just to get that a little bit more. I'm sure this ratio is extra wrong now that we've got flat solar panel 2s versus whole, whole meme accumulators. That's right, I wanted to move this over a little bit and put the umbrella here, but I guess, I guess this is fine. Is the umbrella underneath the defenses, more importantly. The answer is yes. Uh, this doesn't seem to be... Oh, it hasn't requested ammo yet. I can't shift right-click, shift left-click for the ammo for this stuff. Uh, but we do have some on the way. 
Fantastic. All right. So once we hit full accumulators, the miners are on. I do wish the power graph would tell us exactly how full the accumulator charge was through the night. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's using most... Oh, it just bumped up to maximum. When one of the cannons fired. I think we're going to bottleneck on power because of the energy that it takes to fire the cannons, perhaps? Or more to the point to recharge them. Once the accumulator charge drops below 90... Below, uh, to 99%, the miners stop. Um, but we do still have... I should have brought extra solar panels. Eight times reactor time? Yeah, it's not exactly easy to upgrade it as it is. Um, this is fine though. It'll... We, we were fine for Holmium for a long time. When all we had was one core mining drill here. Um, so I think this will meet our needs for quite some time to come. And we could probably... Let's be a little bit less strict. Uh, let's say accumulated charge greater than 95%. And see if that doesn't keep it going continuously. And it should also get it through the night with no trouble. Well, I'm sure the nuclear power will get it through the night. So once the cannons fire... We're getting all the way down to 49 point... 48 point... 5... 48... 47... It did stop the miners for a second. So I think no matter how low I put it, it is going to stop them from time to time. It might work out better if I remove one of the core mining drills. Because of the diminishing returns and we're bottlenecked on power, it might work out to be higher throughput overall because of that. I just need to see if they keep going after the cannons fire. One of them doesn't even get the accumulators to start um, discharging. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay, let's head back to Nalvis, right after I even distribute this. Oh, that's going to, that's going to result in some power drop. Not quite as dramatic as I thought, perhaps. Anyway, this is fine. Oh, we need the rocket to actually be ready to launch. That would probably help. Um, uh, where's our space capsule? There we go. Do we have fuel? We actually do have fuel. And... This was for packed cargo rocket parts. 
Let's just put this here. Um, what's the signal called? Cargo rocket. Request cargo rocket section. Nuclear fuel out. Uh, nope, we're good. We've got the fuel, we're just power... We're just fuel managing this. So we don't waste the fuel. That actually means we've got plenty of solar. And the temperature is still high enough that the steam turbines are working. Uh, that the heat exchanges are working. So we're back to 7.3k. I think we already had a train pick up the Holmanite four fragments here. Or did we already process this? Maybe not. Uh, we need cargo rocket sections. Apparently we've got like one logistic bot here. Nope, we've got 50. They should be going faster than this. Oh, I think I know why. Um, there we go. And let's not forget to fix these pipes. Even though they'll still be vulnerable to meteors and... Well, not, they won't be vulnerable to coronal mass ejections, at least. So, if we ever have to come back here again, the rocket's going to be fueled. Fantastic. Is there any reason I should leave more than one spider here? Probably not. I do want to drop off... Let me just move this while I've got the opportunity. Right about here. Put that nice and close to storage. And I actually do want to move the umbrella. That looks good. Maybe here, actually. Um, I'll dump a bunch of stuff into storage. Just in case we find we need to do something here again. I don't think we're going to need train stuff, but whatever. It's easier to just... Nope. It's easier to just leave it here and find out I don't need it um, than the other way around. Maybe even a couple of wide area beacons in case that one somehow gets destroyed. Not life support, no med packs. Lasers, sure. And combinators. Alright, that should do it. Oh, I also wanted to... Can I make more of these? Not really. It's fine. There probably won't be a media exactly here. And even if there is, it'll just damage these uh, fuel refineries. Alright, so we are ready to go back to Nervous. 
Could it be the case that there is anything I am forgetting? Also, maybe I really shouldn't put 10 megawatts into a beacon here. Do we have any basic beacons? Um, in the robo network, that is. Or in the spider? No, I don't think the spider. I need this fuel for flying. Uh, do we have any beacons? Nope. What if we just don't have a beacon? How fast is this? 0 0.65 per second. This can consume 1.6 in theory. 80 core fragments per second. This is only 20. So we actually probably only need 0.4 per second. Which we've got. That'll mean we'll bottleneck less on power. Um, and keep mining. Okay, cool. I think that's it. Yep, seems good. I'll leave the car here for posterity. Manual launch. Nervous, nervous landing pad. Uh, why don't we send it to the mall? And away we go. Mission complete. Alright, so how many other planets do we need to fix? We've already fixed Mariel. Uh, we need to go to Hagen. Mostly just for throughput. Although, it seems to be... It seems to be struggling in some other way. There's no explosives here? Why are there no explosives here? Hagen. Hagen, Hagen, Hagen. I think I figured it out. Yeah, I think I know why Hagen isn't receiving explosives anymore. Okay. Um, I also think I would like to redo this block. 50 logistic bots is probably plenty. For this sort of thing? Maybe? Maybe not. We could massively increase the density of this block if we use bots. And we're already using them just for coal. Um, because we found that we needed more inputs. For the one that for the ones that are gonna run off nuclear. On the other hand, it would be way, way easier to just copy-paste this to get Hagen working again. Like, a lot easier. If we... If we make a block like this with, um... Active Provider Chest drop-off... Bot spam. Have a station to drop off bots. It'll be very, very, very easy to have it really high density. And do probably twice as, at least twice as many planets. Although, we don't actually have that many planets left that we can reach with a delivery cannon chest um, that we're going to bother. That's Vulcanite core fragments though. Waterless? It's a really small moon. 
There's a little bit of biters. I am tempted to go to Palto, actually. I think it's going to be fine if... Oops. I think it's going to be fine if we just make another block like that, actually. Um, so... Let's do one next to this one. I don't think we're going to be using this pond here. We'll bring the construction spiders and the deconstruction slash uh, landfill spiders. It would definitely cut down on the machines and stuff that we need as well. Uh, why am I going over there? Yeah, I think I'll redesign this block uh, just with robot spam on my own time. It's not going to be a very interesting build. We're way past the point where... We're going to worry too much about bot attrition. Oh, I forgot to resupply for myself. Let's go back to the mall then. And I'll drop off these spiders too. I was wondering what that red splotch was for a second there, but it's the artillery range from our trains. Speaking of military things, spiders, dying bots are still waste, I suppose. It all depends how much throughput we need. Um, I almost think, well, okay, if we were to do like one robo network, we can easily fit one robo network in one of these blocks, like by itself. If you only have 50 logistic bots in a robo network, there's no bot attrition. And bots are extremely high throughput if it's at short range. So I wonder if, actually, we could probably do four of these in one rail block. Yeah, I like where this is going. Oh, wait, except the the signal receivers actually extend RoboPort range. And that's actually going to work against us, I think, maybe. Uh, is that, would that be touching normally? Okay, I thought we learned on Taser that Roboport range... Oh, there's a Roboport here. That's what I wasn't seeing. That's probably just normal Roboport range. My initial assumption was with these yellow dotted lines, it doesn't actually extend the Roboport range, and I don't know why we see it with the signal transmitters and receivers. Um, if they do not extend RoboPort range at all, then what's going on here? Didn't, aren't you empty? Oh, it's probably the construction spiders. Um, you have full inventories. You're going to need to update their requests. As soon as they build something, those bots should move. Uh, the trouble with this... I did make a blueprint for it, but I'm pretty sure there's been a little update or two. Uh, space exploration... Oh, here we go. I think it's going to be easier to start from our blueprint, even if there have been some 
tweaks and updates to this one because we do not want our signal receivers and cannons and stuff to have settings to go to specific planets until we're ready. Um, but yeah, something I might fiddle around with in um, uh, in the editor mode. See if we can just have one RoboPort in each corner so that it's actually four separate RoboPorts. Each of them will have 50 logistic bots and that should prevent any bot attrition and hopefully also have high enough throughput. And we can probably fit like 2468. It depends on where the chests uh, the logistic network chests are going to go. We could use a mixture of chests and belts, I guess. Um, so that the bot trips are very short. And we could probably squeeze out lots of throughput from just 50 logistic bots, as long as they're going a really short distance. Um... And we could have like as many different pretty much as many different delivery cannons as we want and probably fit considerably more than six uh apparently i'm not my construction spiders aren't carrying these things i guess that's pretty normal they don't build them often Uh, let's get our deconstruction spiders over here as well. And they appear to be building more rail signals. Yep, there they go. Let me just hydrate. Accidental bot abuse. Okay, so we just need... Uh, how many? 48 cannons and 6 signal receivers. Where are my requests? Uh, we've already got 10 signal receivers. We seem to be lacking a few delivery cannons here. Are we manufacturing them? Doesn't appear we are. Cannon. Uh, let's go 60, since we need 48 for one of those blocks. Just and it seems we're not having any trouble making them. Fantastic. Right. I should put these spiders back probably in here. Alright, that is 48. Not worried about the delivery cannon chests for now. Oh, I think these bots are drifting over from somewhere else where they didn't have inventory space in the construction spiders. So I really need to completely overhaul their requests. Maybe even have different items in different spiders. That's a real pain to deal with. I could have them just not carry the space belts.
I could reduce the amount they request for each item so they're not requesting a full stack. So hopefully we stop see stop seeing things like uh, I can't see an example this time, but we keep getting like nine logistic train stops and then one logistic train stop here. I think it's probably because the bots deliver more than one item at a time. Except if that were the case, you would probably only see... Um, for example, 48 and 2 7 tile pipe junctions uh, like this. But I think I've seen stacks that were split a lot more down the middle with this problem. I'll, uh, I should check if there's a mod that auto arranges the spider's inventory because that would effectively add some stacks. Uh, to what I can fit here. Something seems to be wrong with this train. Oh, it's trying to go here? Oh, it's just waiting for this one. Okay, cool. Uh, which planet? Hagen. Yeah, we just need to set up... It's actually just these six for Hagen. All steel, and the four things required for uh, delivery cannon capsules. All right, let's start here, shall we? Oh, we don't have coal. Mm hmm. I guess we can do this again. Where can I even fit a robot? have to do. Actually, we're not going to be sending some of these. So, I'll put this here. Um, we'll add How did we do it over here? Was it... It was four provider chests. Okay. I was going to say, are we setting this up so that short trains can come as well? But having different sizes available for both... Um, having different train sizes available on the one station for... Uh, Drop-offs is actually much more of a problem than it is for pickups. Oh, we should make that a filter. Oh. And... We'll let LT know, LTN know what's in these chests. And we'll also request call. Um, we'll change this one to call, I think. And we don't need stone brick, I don't believe. Yeah, there's only six. Copper, steel, coal, explosives, and those two. Uh, so all of these, not this one, and not this one. I'll just leave that there in case I change my mind. This says coal greater than zero. Stack size one, please. I wish I could do all of these in one action. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, so we'll target... Wait, how do we... Oh, we need to do the drop down here. Aging. Uh, right here. It's already set up. Uh, this one needs to say Aiken. Otherwise that won't work. Oh, wait, no, it says something like Aiken DC chest. There it goes. Alright, so that is still red. What resources do we have at Hagen for the moment? Steel, copper, heat shield, LDS, coal. So it's only explosives that's missing right this second. Explosives should be the only one that's green. Perfect. Uh, let's set up all of these first. In fact, I'll just use this and then change it to coal. Change that to LDS. Make sure it's on. Heat shield. Copper. And... Explosives. And then we need those resources to actually arrive here. But the train's too busy. Wait, that is explosives. Oh, there we go. Uh, but we need all the prereqs for delivery cannon capsules also. Uh, where does copper cable? There it is. Probably could have just done one of these in the middle here, I think. No, that's actually a really close to a perfect ratio. Okay. Uh, so it's just going to take its sweet time to unload the trains since there's only one inserter per cargo wagon. Which is not what I want to see when I want to be testing this, but it'll probably be fine. Let's just put some copper here. Uh, we also need heat shielding. LTS. And that'll give us some delivery cannon capsules. Fantastic. This is quite slow without speed modules, actually. Here they come. Fantastic. And Hagen is probably operational again, although we could probably maybe stand to go and upgrade the solar panels and or uh, give it a umbrella, give it more coal mining drills. Although so far, um, one mining drill is only. 12.474 4 fragments per second. Radius is 38.98. But yeah, until this stopped, uh, I think even with just one delivery cannon, which it was bottlenecking on the delivery cannon, um, Hagen was actually supplying all of the cryonite we need. Um, that said, that was before we started consuming cryonite for coolant. 
So it remains to be seen if that setup is enough to keep us going. But I don't particularly feel like jumping over there to upgrade it right now. Let's get back to space or something. We've still got bots hovering around for no reason. Um, I'll just copy the deconstruction spiders over here to empty out our I just made a mistake I know the answer though I thought for a second there that I just deleted like the last okay two things there's one construction spider here that I missed luckily so we could copy the settings from that one, but also there is a construction spider that we just made on Taser uh, that still has all of these settings. Um, so luckily that is not going to be a problem, but the reason I'm doing this is to just empty out the excess uh, like the things that are taking up two stacks when they should take one, and so on. Copy that back there. Get the yellow one. Have you made any new recipes today? Uh, I think so. Or did I? We expanded um, our production of bio sludge. That actually took a little bit more thought than expected. Uh, we've also got... We might even have some... Oh, we don't have Bio 2 yet because we need Bio Scrubbers. Uh, we surprisingly still haven't made any Bio 1. Why not? I don't see any any activity in this block yet. Uh, we should have biological catalog. We do have biological catalog. We've got... Somehow we've got 7.9 thousand. I don't know if it's ever been delivered anywhere yet. It's probably... Probably because there's like... These cards here and not here, these cards here and not here. So we didn't quite get 8,000. We're waiting on biochemical data. Which one's that? Biochemical resistance. Biochemical data. Uh, we're waiting on biomass, surprisingly enough. Biomass is waiting on bioculture, is waiting on bio sludge, but we have bio sludge. Well, apparently we don't have enough to trigger a delivery. Okay. Uh, we do have some here in order to make more bio sludge, but we're missing genetic data now. We're also missing. Bit of melange spice, that's surprising. Uh, spice. Okay, we've definitely got spice, so what's happening? We've got plenty of spice. Oh. You're joking. Wait, how did we even get anything done in this block? Or did we actually not finish it? Uh, okay. This thing is switched on. It is requesting genetic data. We've... How could there be zero... It never got genetic data delivered here. Alright, but it would help if we set this one up. Uh, what is this? Um... Gel? 
Quest uh, threshold. Quest threshold 1,000. 100,000, rather. And we need vats. Don't know how many. Uh, we need, like... Let's just set it to one and a half train loads of vitamin lunch spice. To make sure it... Try to make sure it doesn't overload it. Take one zero off all of that. And nutrient gel. One twenty K. We do have genetic data here, we just don't have eight thousand. Um This is all just to make more bio sludge. But we've, we've somehow run out of bio sludge here, even though we've got some here. So let's get that looping. Yeah, this will give us more genetic data than it costs us, effectively. Um, I'll bump down the threshold, bump up the priority. I broke T-Hacks, he's hunting bottleneck now. Yeah. Today's been one of those days for the most part. Um, I don't think the provide priority is going to matter much. Uh, so, that should give us a train coming to deliver genetic data from here to here. That'll give us bio sludge again. That will drop it off here. Which will get this thing started again. Giving us genetic data and bio sludge. Ultimately. And biomass. So basically, we kind of broke the loop. Because we were setting this up to make more bio sludge. We didn't quite finish it. And then... It took enough bio sludge to stop the whole thing from working on the other one. Okay, what do we got? Genetic data, fantastic. Let's bump that back up to where it should be. Maybe I should keep this one as a high priority. Maybe not like 10,000, just a bit above normal. Because we don't want to risk the loop breaking again. I could maybe connect these up so that they share. That might actually be a really good idea. Except pipe doesn't reach through there. That's really disappointing. Um, that connecting that there won't help anything. What length of pipe can we use here? Just a three B. Yeah, normally I like to keep the blocks self-sufficient and everything, but that's as far as that reaches. Don't tell me this is going to be asymmetrical. Why is that... got a... What? Shouldn't this be exactly the same? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If this goes here... Oh, does that not reach? It does reach. And... This is here. 
So this part's max distance. And this is one tile from the end here. This is one tile from the end here. Wait, it does reach. What the hell? Okay, that's fine. Let's get the spiders where they can make that happen. And that should also prevent this problem from happening again. We're still missing nutrient fats. I don't understand... Oh. Probably could switch this on. Yeah, that might, that might help if we turn on the combinator. I forgot to set a name for this station. Let's fix that. Bat. Wait, what? Bat. And spice. And nutrient gel. Requester. There's already a train on the way, even though I turned off the combinator. It isn't there. Now I don't know where it is. Uh... I think it's, yeah, it's picking up the nutrient gel. That's the wrong station. There we go. Empty cargo. Fantastic. Good save. Okay. I also want to see this, uh, this unloader working. Can we bump up the train limit here? Did this... wait, what? Hold on. Oh, it's empty cargo inventory. Doesn't... Doesn't look for fluids, does it? There we go. Back to the depot with you. Okay. Limit trains three. There should be a couple of trains scheduled to bring spice and vats here in a second. There we go. There come, here comes the spice. Um, and then we just need vats. Which we have 32,000 of. Wait, what? 332. I don't know how I misread that so much. Something must have looked like a K somehow at a glance. Uh, 800 is enough to trigger a delivery. We have the loop working again because I pumped bio sludge back over here. All right, cool. It's gonna take its sweet time getting going again, I think. This one already has all the bio sludge it needs. Although this should be slowly draining away. There's our spice. And unless I do the same thing with the vats as I did a moment ago, um, we're not going to get the delivery. Let's set priority. And that should be fine. Drop this down to one for a second. Good, <laughs> Good news, everyone. The slime is flowing again. Exactly. All right, let's get this loop going. 
Once this train comes to pick this up, that'll be it, I think. Anytime you're ready. High priority, provide stack threshold one. Constant combinator is switched on. Questing 1200. Quest stack threshold one. Above normal priority. That is taking its sweet time. All right, what are we doing here? Um, I think we fixed all of the outposts. Let's double check. Mariel is fine. Moz never had, uh, never had a problem. I don't think. It's also sending back iron plate. Uh, crude oil core fragments. We're actually full with it. I think I never got around to processing crude oil core fragments. Uh, whoops. Did I not do that? No, oh, this is it. Okay, we're fine. It's just outputting too much crude oil. Uh, provide priority 100. It's full. I guess we could add some more storage for it. Um, I can't even think how we would, or if we would want to. Oh, that's the wrong set of spiders. Wait, no it's not. I forgot I made the construction spiders all pink. Wait, wait, this one. Copy this one, there we go, the yellow, I think that means only the cons uh, the leader is carrying what we need, but that should be fine. Uh, what I might just do is add a whole bunch of storage, crude oil, that'll give us some basic resources. Why does that look like it doesn't line up? Actually, I don't want to mess with the rotation of these things. Um, yeah, it won't be a whole lot, but it'll, it'll give us regular core fragments and stone. I think we might actually be backed up on regular core fragments. No, not really. Uh, that's right, I've been meaning to... It doesn't seem like that's the problem now. But I had been meaning to create some more blocks for processing regular core fragments. That might become relevant. We should also redo it with better beacons, maybe. Actually, no. Tier 1 beacons make a lot of sense on Nalvis. Because the minimum consumption for the Tier 2 beacons is so, so much. Um, but yeah, what I was thinking of was... Uh, it hasn't been relevant for a little while because our... Or fragment delivering things broke. Although uranium is still completely backed up. 32,000 core fragments. Oh, this isn't connected. That's my bad. I think we'll just leave that train there. That's fine. Uh, what I was trying to say is if we completely back up on Vulcanite, Holmanite, Cryonite, whatever it is, from core mining, 
Uh, it'll actually stop us from getting more regular core fragments. Not to mention stone. So we should probably make only the Vulcanite or whatever from those stations in particular. Uh, how am I going to do it, actually? Yeah, we need to use priorities and uh, encoded network IDs so that only as the lowest possible priority will have a storage as well. Um, this Vulcanite, for example, it'll never happen with Vulcanite. Vulcanite's slow. But that could be sent to the um, to the bin, basically. In order to make way for regular core fragments. Uh, once we set all of those up, that'll mean that even if we back up on those resources, every new planet that we tap for core fragments is going to increase our infinite throughput of iron, copper, etc., Vulcan, uh, Vitamelange. Now, there's a good example. Um, every single Vitamelange core fragment gives us, like, a third of a regular core fragment. Plus a little bit of stone. If we dump the Vitamelange. So that's something to do, perhaps. Good to see Iridium flowing again. Fantastic. Um, why don't we check on orbit? Did we get... We did. I don't know if I only just caught it, but... Yeah, here's our nutrient gel being delivered. That should get our loop going again, or help it go faster. So is this actually... Products finished 42. Okay. So this must be the second uh, train delivery over here. Vladimir Remek. That's the Czech who was in orbit. Just saying if you want to check <laughs> orbit. Beautiful. Alright, so there's our biomass again. And... Bio sludge quite soon. That should get our loop going much faster. And oh, we did, we did make one new thing. Uh, technically, uh, we got uh, we got metallic acid into the rail network. We should have... we do. Um, where would be the best spot for it? I don't think it particularly matters. Yeah. Uh, we'll put Vitalic Acid here. Vitalic Acid Requester. That's going to go into this one. Uh, we'll need a... We'll need a block. We've already got some. Good. Novus Orbit Vitalic Acid. Is that spelt right? Vitalic. Yep. Uh, Novus Orbit Vitalic Acid. Let's set our filter. Fantastic. Blacklist that. Acid goes here. Metallic acid provider. And set up our cargo rocket. So this goes here. Novus Orbit Vitalic Acid. Launch on Fargo Full. Set the request. What does it stack to? I bet it's 50. Yep. 
So 25,000. Set the filters here. And that should be all it takes to get up to space. In the next few seconds or so, we should see these two lights go yellow. Any second now. Provide stack threshold 160. Metallic acid is completely full. 57,000. Wire is all connected. Constant combinator is on. Constant combinator is on. Press stack threshold 160. 25,000. Long train. Uh, yep. That's everything. Oh, there it goes, finally. Alright, so it'll take three and a bit. Oh, we need a depot up here somewhere. That's a surprisingly long trip for such a short trip. Um, what was I trying to say? Let's put it here. Three and a bit train trips before that'll be full. Um, I don't know if I've updated the blueprint since fixing a problem or two with these depots. But also this includes the um, substation pylons. So I'll put that in there now. Fantastic. And we could probably stand to add a bunch of trains. Uh, I think it's down here somewhere. And trains, just like that. And I'll send them to depots once they've all been placed. Fantastic, there's our Vitalic Acid. Once the signals have been placed, we can return to a normal, relatively normal frame rate. It seems they're lacking rail. What is going on here? Are there requests? Ugh, I keep doing that. Are there requests all messed up? Doesn't look like it. They are requesting rail. But a bunch of them only have a few... Oh. Wait, what? Did I not send them back to the mall? Maybe I didn't send them back to the mall. After fixing the uh, requests for them. That's probably it. Okay. I forgot where how I'm managing this to only run during the day because of the beacon. It's probably sufficient. How fast are we gonna go through Vitalic Acid upstairs? Um I can't even remember where it was that we had a request for Vitalic Acid. I think it was nope. We're going to need it for bio scrubbers, I suspect. 
bio scrubber metallic acid glass steel plate we can make it in a chemical plant so we should be doing it in the rail network downstairs and since there's already glass we should there's already glass and the block over here has plenty of space left um so i'm thinking we should just add a steel drop off here and we can do it in the same block uh but that will be for another time is about time to finish the stream for today let's see who is streaming factorio Uh, got a few options. All right, here we go. How fast are we making these again? 80 per second when it's working, which is almost always, so that's, considering it's a stack size of 50, that's pretty good. I also forgot to actually check, let's do FNEI, acid, metallic acid, it goes into nine things, turn it into bio sludge, that might be a good idea actually. That might be a really good idea. Except we also need Vitamelange Nuggets. Which is a slight nuisance. And Cosmic Water. Uh, Vitamelange Nuggets we just need to put into a rocket, actually. Maybe we'll make Bio Sludge out of this. Um, biochemical Resistance Data. That's right, we needed it directly for that. Okay, so I didn't make a mistake by sending it to orbit. That's good to know. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, for now, let's drop in on Gentle Mad Scientist. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Take care, Silent. Thanks for hanging out. And away we go. One pump stores 400 of liquid, uh, like uh, one single, one single entity. Space pipe storing only 100. Hey, Tyrannosaurus hacks! Oh wow, 38 people raiding. Welcome everyone. Welcome to uh, welcome to the stream uh, where we are making bioscience over and over. <laughs> no, just kidding. How are you doing, Tyr Tyrannosaurus hacks? How was your uh, How was your stream? How was your day? Red! <laughs> oh wow, 38 people, man. <laughs>